before he strikes again. Here comes. I got your back. Here you go. Let's go. The decreed hour is come. Set forth with my blessing, Prince Noctis. Thank you, Your Majesty. Take your leave and go in the grace of the gods. Right. <sighs> Well, princes will be princes. So much for royal protocol. Not like you had to deliver a formal address. Your Highness! What now? I fear I have left too much unsaid. You place a great burden on those who would bear with you. <laughs> You're one to talk. I ask not that you guide my wayward son, merely that you remain at his side. Indeed, Your Grace. We'll see the Prince to Altissia if it's the last thing we see. Yeah, what he said. Hate to break this up, but Kor's got the motor running. Drados, he's in your hands. And another thing. Do mind your manners around your charming bride-to-be. Your Majesty as well. Try to mind yours around our esteemed guests from Niflheim. You have no cause for concern. Nor do you. Take heed. Once you set forth, you cannot turn back. You think I would? I need only know that you are ready to leave home behind. Don't know about you, but I'm ready as I'll ever be. Take care on the long road. Wheresoever you should go, the line of Lucis goes with you. Walk tall, my son. I think we can forget about hitching our way there. Thought people were friendly outside the city. Yeah, you can only go so far on the kindness of strangers. You're just gonna have to push her all the way. I've already pushed myself to the brink of death. You'll get up. <sighs> Come on, car isn't gonna move itself. Sheesh. I thought the car was supposed to move us. Wouldn't that be nice? Can it? Ready, steady. Really? Push! <laughs> Don't push something so heavy. Unbelievable. Not exactly a fairy tale beginning, huh, Prince Noctis? We let ourselves get carried away. Look, these things happen. Let's just hope this isn't some omen. Gladio, do me a favor. What? Push this thing by yourself. All by myself? You won't even notice if we just let go. Pronto, don't even think about it. Save some breath for pushing. Ignis, come on, time to switch. Nah, we just switched back there. And it's my turn, Nucked. His turn. Oh, my hands are killing me. You'd rather I kill you with mine? Easy there, tough guy. 
Any luck? Only a busy signal. Oh, hold the phone. Is it just me? Or was it supposed to be way closer? I assure you, the map is correct. The map said Hammerhead was right there. Literally, next door. Looks that way. On a map of the world. <sighs> the world's a big old place. Filled with wonders. Uh, tell that to my legs. You guys even pushing? Hard as I can. With everything I've got, we'll be there in no time. Hey there, y'all kept a girl waiting. Now, which one's the prince? Aha! Hello, your highness. Congrats on your wedding. Not hitch just yet. Lady Luna Freya's groom-to-be, here in Hammerhead. Apologies for taking so long. <laughs> you best save your apologies for Pawpaw. Well, that makes you... Cindy. Sid's grease monkey granddaughter. Roll her in while I'm still young. Didn't your daddy tell you? She's a custom classic, not some beat-up old clunker. Prince Noctis. Uh, yeah. Prince. Like they took your old man and kicked the dignity out of him. What? You got a long way to go, son. And that slack jaw's getting you nowhere fast. She's gonna take a while. Y'all get her in and run along. <sighs> Y'all heard him. Let's get moving. Right this way. Now, we play the waiting game. Uh, never liked that game. Never any good at it, either. Y'all ain't never been out this way before, have you? Go on, have a look around. This'll make sure y'all don't get lost. Might as well make good use of the extra time. Whoa! They got Ebony out here! Oh, Ignis is gonna flip! Wait, uh, what's a kill? I got a feeling our money's no good here, Noct. Bet you Ignis came prepared, though. Let's ask him. Enough for room and board. You see this, Noct? What about it? Well, howdy! A moment, Noct. We've expended the last of our funds on the repairs. I suggest we confer with Cindy. Broken down and flat broke. Adding insult to injury. Old man's in for both after charging us that much. Yeah, let's pay him a visit. <sighs> she ain't gonna be ready for a while. Y'all need something? bit steep for a simple tune-up, don't you think? Oh, now I get it. 
This must be what Papa meant when he said he was going to teach them boys a lesson. Told me he ought to have y'all take care of some ornery varmints that have been causing a ruckus around here. I'd be happy to pay y'all for your services if you're up to the challenge. How about it? Well, so much for finding an easy way out. Thanks a lot, Papa. But don't go running around after dark. The demons are liable to rip y'all to shreds. Here, this ought to be enough for a place to stay. Just between us, though, don't tell Papa. Let's say that. All right. Looks like we found our first targets. Ready, knocked. Work. On we go. Time. Let's get on with it. Hmm. So, uh, where are we headed anyway? Nowhere until the repairs are done. Then we head for Golden Key. Then after that, we hop a boat, and before you know it, lover boy's hitched. Wait for car repairs, then wedding bells in the air. Got it. Almost there. Give it your all. Hey, no! Yeah. Work strike to catch him off guard! Well, here we are. Nice. Mission complete. Who could this be? Hello? Actually, we just finished. That's great, because I got one more hunt for y'all. Only this time, it's for a person. Fella named Dave went off, and we ain't heard from him since. Reckon he staked out a spot in an old shack nearby. Old shack? Uh, oh, got it. We'll take a look. So, what did Cindy say? Needs us to find some Dave guy. He went missing? Not missing. Said he's holed up in that shack. this knocked get out of here 
You okay? <sighs> we are now. Spoke too soon. The hunt is on. Say your prayers. Allow me. Ignis, don't be late. No big deal. Was that perfect or what? I'll give you that. Hey, what about the shack over there? Not yet. Got a plan. Huh. What are we looking at? This creature is known as a saber tusk. It skewers prey with its tusks, extracting game from the safety and comfort of burrows. That's a bit heartless. Yeah. Hey, who's out there? Well, and look who's in here. The man of the hour. Dave, right? <laughs> Been looking for you. <sighs> Didn't mean to cause y'all any trouble. I've been stuck here on account of my sprained ankle. Yeah, something funny about them varmints. I gave them hell, but couldn't finish the job. Still one mean mud about. Well, y'all don't look much like hunters, but what do you say? Put that puppy to rest for me? Sure, we'll do it. Well, for the right price. Y'all got guts, that's for sure. Let me tell you where I last saw them. Phew! For a second I thought you were gonna forget to ask for cash. wise to rest up before we set out. In that case, let's find a spot to make camp. The hunters are really out in full force around here, huh? So they're the new Crowns Guard or something? Similar, though technically a civilian outfit. They've definitely seen a lot more action than we have. Uh... Is it cool that we rock Crown's Guard outfits? Be worse not to. They made them especially for us. Even got a sweet insignia on them. In the Crown's Guard, your attire identifies you. So wear it with pride. Let's call it a day. I'll see what I can whip up.
Well taken. Striking a pose. Oh yeah! Hey, this one's pretty good. I know. I dig it too. <laughs> Not bad. Perfect timing. <laughs> like a father to her. Ever since they got back, Sid's been the only one looking after her. Rather more than a middling mechanic can handle. All things considered, I'd say she turned out okay. Not like any girl. You just need to treat her right. Treat her wrong and Sid'll stuff his wrench where the sun don't shine. Take care of the car and it will take care of us. Yeah, the car. Feeling refreshed. Well, the tent lets you stretch out a bit more. Only so far a man can walk. Our Crown City upbringing didn't prepare us for this. Ugh. Pretend you're walking to the car. Yes, but not your run-of-the-mill breed. We'd best make quick work of it. Wait a sec. What? Scared, big guy? You ought to be, too. Thing's vicious. You sure? Looks tame to me. Yeah. Look out! <laughs> uh! Yeah! Nice one. It's not over yet. <laughs> Ready for round two. Oh, here we are. Yeah. Back to it. Right. Hmm. Ring, ring. Hello? Okay. Nice work, y'all. By the way, the old girl's looking good as new. Oh, well, I got ya. If y'all want to fix her up before you roll out, let me know. Sounds good. She'll be waiting at the garage. Gotcha. So, who's up next behind the wheel? Ignis should take it and never let go. It helps that he can keep four eyes on the dash. <laughs> I couldn't even keep one. Not sure I'd do any better. Put me in the driver's seat. Good. Because I need the legroom in back.
feels so sluggish. Indeed. Keep a girl waiting. You better apologize. Uh, uh, what is that? A live hurricane. That thing's like half bird, half storm, half airship. You realize that's three halves. Well, it explain its size. <laughs> awesome in every sense. And here we are. Sorry about the wait. Ain't she pretty? She's almost too pretty for the road. She's back! We should all get a picture with her. All the more reason to ride with care. Oh, and before I forget, would y'all mind making a little delivery for me? Oh, me! I'll do it! Someone's eager. Thought you'd say yes. So I already put it in the trunk. There should be a motel on your way to Galden. If y'all wouldn't mind giving that to the owner, that'd be swell. Grandpa like grandkid. Now that she's all polished up and ready for the road, would you care to take her for a little test drive, Noct? Sure. Why not? And I needn't remind you to exercise caution. Time to go. Mm -hmm. is like no garage ever. You know? One would expect no less of purveyors to the crown. Ah, <sighs> I'll miss it once this road trip's over with. 
Huh? There's no reason you can't pay them a visit anytime you please. I'm sure Cindy will be glad to look after your car. Oh, right. So, that's what this is about. If you need, I could always lend you the regalia. Whoa! Ha! Uh, yeah, thanks for the offer, but once we're back in the Crown City, I think I'd better score my own wheels. Well, I'd say that's far enough for today. Might be wise to leave the driving to me until we found our bearings out here. You all came all the way out here to deliver the goods. Well, thank you kindly. We'll take it out of the trunk so you all just sit tight. Hmm? Umbra. Bringing us stuff. Had a boy. A dog can really track a scent. Certainly knows how to find us. How do you always know, boy? Just a sec. Nice flower. It's the same kind we sewed our crowns from. Oh yeah, sill blossoms. So, hmm? I have a favor to ask. Take the notebook with you when you go. Sure. That's not all. I want you to put something in the book and send it back. All set. Take care out there. I know. You're not gonna tell me. Then don't ask. What was that about? <sighs> you don't say. Now that our work's done, let's see ourselves to Golden. What's the forecast? Clear skies, with the temperature rising. Nice. Simple formality. One of those symbol of the peace deals. So it's more like a marriage of convenience. 
Her ladyship seems nevertheless amenable to the prospect. And Noctir likes the idea. <sighs> What's that? I do? Buzz off. Hey! I see the sea! I see it too. That's Golden Key. Kinda wanna go for a dip. That a big mountain behind it? No, it's an island. Nobody goes to Golden for an island, though. They go to kick back and get massages. And save with the seafood. It's famously delicious. Sounds great. Something to look forward to. Ignis, pull over a sec. Certainly. Should be a nice change of pace. Ready to set sail? Just gotta find my sea legs first. <laughs> Better hurry. I. So, uh, you thinking to fairy tale Lady Lunafreya back to the Crown City? Nah, no need to rush to happily ever after. Wow. Still can't believe you're actually tying the knot, dude. How does it. Welcome to Golden Key. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Are we? The boats bring you here. What about them? Well, they'll not take you forth. And what's your story? I'm an impatient traveler, ready to turn ship. The ceasefire's getting us nowhere. <laughs> what's this? Some sort of souvenir? <gasps> they make those? What? No. Consider it your allowance. Huh? Yeah. And who's allowing us? A man of no consequence. Oh, yeah, right. Oh. Oh. Do you believe what that guy said about the port being closed? I'm skeptical, though I won't discount the possibility. I say we go check it out for ourselves. What's all this about the port closing? Some kind of holdup in Altitia. Guess we have to stay another night. Out of service indeed. What's all this about the port closing? Some kind of hold up competition. Ah, man. Not a ship in sight. What gives? Appreciate it. According to my sources, the Empire, given strict orders not to let any vessels leave the docks of Altitia. Real shame if you were late to your own wedding, right, Prince Noctis? Name's Dino, by the way. Pleasure. The Crown Prince of Lucis bounty hunting in his fancy car. Surely you didn't think it'd go unnoticed. At least not by this reporter. Lucky for you, this reporter has integrity. If you want to remain incognito, I'll respect your wish. In exchange for a favor. What do you want? Hey, I knew you'd come around. Let me see your map. Marked where you need to go on your map. All you gotta do is find me some rough gemstones, like this one. Do this, and your ship will come in. Don't, and the papers will run you out of town. Capiche? 
all this about the port closing. Some kind of holdup in Altitia. Guess we have to stay another night. Hope everything will be up and running by morning. Whew. He's really got your number, Nox. Huh. Not like we made much effort to keep it secret. Even if we had, the press always finds a way. We needn't befriend him, but we'd best not make him our enemy. Mm, this is amazing. Well, you can't beat fish fresh from the ocean. No place serves him. Then lose the jacket. <laughs> We're out of here. Let's roll. Off we go. Sid was right about your lack of dignity. You're one step above delivery, boy. The royal rank carries little weight outside the Crown City. Glad it's not weighing me down. spot? According to the map. Let's scope it out. Wow, the color's amazing. O. M. G. We're supposed to get near that thing? Pipe down before you wake it up.
alive. Barely. I seriously thought we were at journey's end. But that feat was fit for a king. Indeed. Nice work, kid. Sorry for giving you such a hard time. I just had to get my hands on this, even if it meant blackmail. You understand, don't you? You see, I'm a reporter by day and an amateur jeweler by night. This elusive little beauty's gonna become a masterpiece. To make it up to you, I'll share a little scoop. That special coin you got? It commemorates the Oracle's ascension. That guy was tossing them out to everyone. Must have picked them up back in Niflheim. And speaking of freebies, here's one from me. Come back if you want to buy more. I doubt a souvenir like that could make its way into the hands of an ordinary citizen. Oh well, it's our pocket change now. Let's learn from history and book a place this time. As promised, I'm in the process of securing your ferry tickets right now. Told you, I'm a man of integrity. Should be smooth sailing from here. So let me know when you're ready to ship out. I admit I didn't expect Dino to secure us a ship. Well, must be pretty connected if he can pull some strings around an Imperial embargo. Yeah, that guy's one artful artisan. You guys ready to set sail? Already? The ship won't arrive till tomorrow. How about you find a place to spend the night? It's bedtime. Sounds good. Damn, this is a really good shot. <laughs> I made sure I got the regalia's good side. Hey, uh, morning. Where's Specs? Should be back any minute now. What's that look for? It's in all the papers. What is? Insomnia... false. What? Is this your idea of a joke? I need you to calm down so I can explain. I'm as calm as I'm gonna get! There was an attack. 
The Imperial Army has taken the Crown City. As treaty room tempers flared, blast lit the night sky. When the smoke about the Citadel had cleared, the King was found dead. No, wait. Hold on. We had no way of knowing. What? Knowing what? That the signing was last night. That insomnia... But the wedding! Altitia! I know. That was the plan. Yet the reports of the invasion are all the same. How could every headline in the kingdom be wrong? <sighs> Lies. Hmm. If only... <sighs> what else do we know? Well, then we can't be sure until we see it with our own eyes. And that means we go back to Insomnia. Might not be safe for us there. Might not be safe for us here. Turn back. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> a lot of good all wings gonna do. You mustn't lose faith. Really? Can faith stop a fleet of Imperial dreadnoughts? Just give it a rest. My old man had plenty of faith. Enough. The Empire lied. They betrayed us. Conjecture gets us nowhere. We're searching for truth. All you'll find are lies. Like that ceasefire. of those things. Imperial Dreadnoughts. They transport soldiers, namely the Magitek Infantry. The robots? Mass-produced humanoid weapons of warfare, to be more precise. Doesn't look like they'll be signing that peace treaty. Up ahead! <laughs> They've set up an inspection point. If the road ahead's blocked, then we find a way around. Let's make a detour. There ought to be a decent vantage point up ahead. There they are. Wanna take them out? Oh yeah. The scrap heaps are gonna wish they had a treaty to protect them. Oh, 
going on? Where are you? Outside the city. With no way back in. Makes sense. <sighs> makes sense? Are you serious? What about any of this makes sense? The news just told me I'm dead, along with my father and Luna. Listen, I'm heading out to Hammerhead. <sighs> about the king, it's true. <sighs> if you're looking for the whole truth, you know where to find me. suppose the Crown's Guard is still active? I wouldn't count on it. Not with the Marshal out here. I wonder how things are in the city. There should be reports before long. Yeah, something this big can't go ignored. And what about us? What do we do? We make for Hammerhead now, and figure the rest out later. Got a message from my sister. She's with refugees bound for Lestalem. <sighs> well, at least Iris is okay. Yeah. Doesn't sound like everyone else was so lucky, though. We'd best make haste. Noct won't be dead forever. No going back. Glad y'all made it. <laughs> no weather for driving, that's for sure. Oh, thanks. Where's Cor? Uh, left to see the business. And left y'all a message with Papa. Yeah? Boss ain't sat still one second since he heard y'all were coming.
crystal and the king's ring, what they've been after all along. So all talk of peace was merely a pretext. They played my father for a fool. Don't kid yourself. Reggie wasn't born yesterday. Lucis got dealt a losing hand and your old man played it the best he could. He saw this coming a mile away and he wasn't gonna go down without a fight. In the end though, well, it just wasn't enough. You need something else, you talk to Cor. I can't even remember the last time I saw Reggie. Feels like a lifetime ago. Cora left a message. Said he'll wait for you in the tombs. They're to the northwest of here. That's a short ways past the outpost. Find that first. sealed off the city by now. What do you think it's like inside? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. We'll see for ourselves in time. Indeed. Merely a question of when. Can't believe the crystal's gone. The bastards took it all. And we'll take it back. This is far from over. This must be the outpost Sid mentioned. Yeah, it looks like a hub for hunters. Maybe they know something. Hey! How does a warm, fresh cooked meal sound to you? Your Highness, I'm glad you're safe. Monica, where are all the others? Most of the Crown's Guard didn't make it. It was all we could do to escort Lady Iris out of the city. Dustin is with her as we speak. Seeing her the rest of the way to Lestalem. I owe you guys big time. 
Head for the royal tomb. The marshal awaits. This. Across the land, Scylla blossoms from Tenebrae can be seen displayed in memoriam. With no remains to mourn, throngs have gathered in Altitia to pay their respects. Many offering prayers at a vigil held before the wedding dress Lady Luna Freya was to wear. While some hold out hope the Oracle still lives, a grim silence continues to linger. Looked like no hunter I'd ever seen. Was dressed all black, like one of them crowns guard fellers. I'll wager that was Cor the Immortal. Word is, he survived the carnage at the Crown City. Well, now that you mention it... Yeah, it's gotta be him. Couldn't be anyone else. Can't keep up with this guy. First the Crown City, then Hammerhead, then the Royal Tomb? His nickname should have been Cor the Restless. Somehow not as catchy as Cor the Immortal. Making it out of insomnia only adds to his legend. Well, fortune favors the bold. Huh? The wise make their own luck. You think it's a coincidence he's made it out of all those battles alive? Safety first, everybody! Any plan of the time? Fly right through him? I'll suck him on the Knocked! All right. Yep. No use hanging around here. Indeed. Wonder what drew him to the royal tomb. A morbid curiosity for the late kings of Lucis. Only one way to find out. We're here. A tomb fit for royalty. Let's go in and find the marshal. Marshal. At last, your highness. Yeah. Wanna tell me what I'm here for? The power of kings passed from the old to the new through the bonding of souls. One such soul lies before you. To claim your forebear's power is your birthright and duty as king. My duty as king of what? Now is not the time to question your calling. <laughs> A king is sworn to protect his people. And yet he chose to protect only one prince. Was that his calling? Forsake the masses to spare his own son? How long will you remain the protected? The king entrusted the role of protector to you. Entrusted it to me? Then why didn't he tell me that? Why did he stand there smiling as I left? Why? Why did he lie to me? That day, he didn't want you to remember him as the king. In what time you had left, he wanted to be your father. <laughs> he always had faith in you, that when the time came, you would ascend for the sake of your people. Guess he left me no choice. The power of 
kings goes with you, your majesty. That's not the only power your forebears left you. Your journey's just begun. Another tomb lies close by. I suggest you head there next. There are tombs scattered across the land. All are on dangerous ground. I'll go with you, for the time being. Not only to help, but to get a measure of your strength. So, just how many of these powers are out there? There are 13 known royal arms, each enshrined at a royal tomb, though we know the location of only a few. I've enlisted the help of the Hunters. They comb the land in search of the lost tombs. <laughs> Where's the one nearby you mentioned? Kikatrick Trench. We know there to be a crypt, deep inside the tunnels. Guys, we got a little problem over here! Cool. It's time. Go take care of it. Hold on, that wasn't part of the deal! You haven't lost your edge one bit, Marshal. Yeah. Still got an edge, at any rate. Long years ago, we waged a fierce battle here against the Empire. And after that, the Empire moved in like it owned the place. No orders for me? No. This shouldn't require much strength. Watch out! Wasn't a bad effort, Prompto. Whoa! I just got praised by the immortal! Don't take that as a lead to slack off. You're only as good as your last battle. Uh, yes, sir. I'll keep at it, sir. A Magitek armor. Dangerous? This particular model poses a mild to moderate threat. The short version? Somewhat dangerous. Marshall, that would be pretty badass to take that down, right? Think you're up to it? Yes. Let's see. Holding up all right? I could do this in my sleep. One last push. Here's where we go our separate ways. Take this key. It unlocks the doors to the other tombs. Seek them out and lay claim to the power they hold. You'll need it. And what will you do? Keep an eye on the Nifs. Find out what they're up to. But you should focus on your own task. I will. You take care. Here we go. Keep it real, huh? Huh? Look! There's a door. What is this place? It appears to have been a shelter. People lived here? Those seeking refuge from war, most likely. Wars. Huh. What are they good for? I wonder if anyone's still living here. Huh. What's this? A cable? wonder where it leads. Well, we can follow it and see. Oh. 
A generator? So it would appear. Might still run. Start. Sweet, it works! Oh, then there was light. Oh man, I do love me some light. My bad. Kick the can. You are killing me here, big guy. Are you trying to give me a heart attack or something? Ugh, I hate that noise. What? I can feel eyes on us. The second we turn our backs, bam! Could ah! be even worse. Ran past. What was it? Um. Hello. Uh, anybody home? I'm coming in. Ever wonder if people like died here and their tormented souls just sorta remained behind? Maybe this way? Yeah. Is it? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's playing with us. Hey, wait. What? Need to brace for this. It's locked. <sighs> Another locked door. What's up with this place? It came from there. What is it now? Above us! Look out! Uh. Huh? What is it? That wasn't there before. Now, eyes closed. Don't knock him dead, Knox. I'll be sure to get lots of picks. How about you fight instead? Nah, I think I'm okay. First time through here, right? Looks it. Indeed. Right. Ugh. Locked. Total shock. Hey, if something's worth locking up, it's worth seeking out. Hear that? Ah, <sighs> nothing. That's weird. These are not the type of guys I like to fight. What type of guys I like to fight? None! Now that you mention it? All right, you hate bucks. Me? Ooh, this looks promising. In an ominous sort of way. Stay sharp.
Weird! The hell? So Noct borrows the old king's powers. Hmm. More or less. At this rate, he'll soon rival his father's legacy. The copycat king. Out of line. Well, what's it like? Hmm. Like I've got some tricks up my sleeve. No need to put on a magic show for us. But it never hurt to practice. Yeah? Finally picked up. Thought I'd lost another king. <sighs> Just busy building my arsenal. Good to hear. I have a task for you. The Empire's begun construction of a new base, along the road west to the sky. I need you to put it out of commission. If left unchecked, it will cost us access to the west and all the royal tombs that lie beyond. I believe you've met Monica. She can fill you in on the details. Go see her. What's up? Uh, people to see, bases to burn. Let's go see Monica at the outpost. Come to think of it, we did spy a large structure. Yeah, hard to miss an ominous thing like that. It ain't gonna be easy taking down a whole stronghold. Can we really do this? The Marshal believes we can, or he wouldn't have asked us. But first things first. Right. Let's head back to the outpost. Ah, good morning, fellas. Sun come up already? <clears throat> We've been out all night. I think that's our cue to call it a day. Man, who knew Kor was such a badass? I'm just glad he's on our side. We need to replenish our supply of curatives. Gotcha. Your Highness, the Marshal has apprised me of the plan. We found a back door into the Imperial base. I'll mark the route on your map. The way is secure. You should be able to gain entry relatively easily. Everything in order? Yep. All right. So, who is this Monica person? A servant of the Crown's Guard, like Gladio and myself. She's one of my father's best, along with Dustin, who's guarding my sister. Hmm. <laughs> Good to know we still have people we can count on outside the city. Do we have to walk?
From here we will split into two groups. Prince Noctis, please join the Marshal up ahead. The rest of you will assist me in the diversionary effort. Well, see you guys later. You go give them hell. We'll do the same on our end. Once we're in, we launch our ambush, pushing out while support pushes in, crushing the enemy from both sides. Could have gone it alone if I wanted. That mentality could prove your undoing, Highness. See you again. All right on your end? Right as rain. The Nifs couldn't take their eyes off us. Thanks to you, we were spared their attention. Stay right where you are! Well, well, if it isn't Kor the Immortal. So, you survived the Citadel. But you won't survive what I have in store for you. It's past time your legend came to an end. Yeah! yeah. 
impressive. Seeing you in action puts my mind at ease. It's clear I don't need to worry anymore. I'll return to watching the NIFs. Till next time, take care. so bad out here once you get used to it. Still a lot we haven't seen, though. And a lot for us to do. <sighs> yeah. Buck up. We're just getting started. <sighs> so, the prince eludes death. And what of the elusive ring? Eluna Freya has absconded with it. Find and kill her. The ring is the final piece. We may do well to take her alive. The Six wield power beyond our imagination. The Oracle holds the key for the King. She could unlock many secrets. Nay, High Commander. Lord Ravis, the Imperial Army is now at your disposal. A moot point, while the fugitives remain at large. My men and I will continue our search for the Prince and the Oracle. So glorious. My crystal. Look out, world! Here we come! We can finally leave this dust bowl behind. The lands beyond are vast by comparison to lead. Bigger's better! More stuff to see and do! First comes to Sky, a region known for its wetlands. Really? Wetlands? There's also a chocobo forest. Now we're talking! Further west lies the Clane region, wherein we'll find the town of Lestalum. Oh, isn't that where Iris is headed? Barring delays, she should have arrived by now. Maybe even had herself a look at the meteor. The meteor of the Six? The same. Its heat is harnessed to power Lestalum. Whoa, that sounds way cool. I'm actually looking forward to this. Long drive. Best fill up the tank before we set out. I believe we have a solid lay of the land now. The driver's seat is yours, Noct. If you so desire it. Hello? Um, not? Iris? It's really you! So good to hear your voice. Everything's fine over here. We managed to make it to Lestalem. We just settled into our new digs. So yeah, let me know when you're coming so we can meet up. Yeah, will do. You better. Was that Iris? Can't even call her own brother. In all fairness, yours wasn't the obituary broadcast all over Lucius. What about me? She say anything about me? Did you see that sign? Chocobos! Chocobos! No, no time for that. We need to get to Lestalem. It's still ages away. Come on, just a quick visit! Sure. Let's check it out. Yes! Gonna be awesome! Huh? 
Ready for more? You bet. Let's hit it. what I'm talking about. The kids got it bad. There are worse vices, I suppose. Excuse me. We'd like to ride the chocobos. The chocobos, huh? I hate to break this to y'all, but we can't permit our birds to leave the post. Not while Deadeye's still about. He's an uncommonly ferocious behemoth that's taken to prowling these parts of late. His scent makes our birds nervous, and to prevent accidents and tragedies, we have no choice but to suspend rentals. But hold on now. Ain't you lads the hunters that have been making a mark? You reckon you could handle the likes of Deadeye? If you could bring the beast down, there'd be a reward in it for you. But knowing the danger, I wouldn't blame you for saying no. So what'll it be today? Grab some grub before you go? Leeson's been giving us a real hassle. Best of luck to you. Good luck. Tracks. Ignis, we're going. On my way. What the hell? Something's amiss. Come on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's move. on the right. No eye, no horn. We'll stay in range until we can exploit its blind spot. Exercise due caution. We've got the beast in our sight. Uh, but no plan of attack. The behemoth should be headed back to its lair, where we can catch it fully off guard. Yeah, as long as we stay on guard ourselves. All in a day's work.
Sounds like someone's in a good mood. Basking in our hard-fought victory, I presume. Boys did it. You took down Deadeye. The area's safe again and we owe it all to you. On behalf of the locals, I give you my heartfelt thanks. So, about the chocobos? Our birds are at your disposal. You can rent them anytime you like. Boy, you really saved our hides. Woohoo! <laughs> Come on, Noct! Let's go for a ride. Let's go. Morning. Sup? Morning. Morning. Huh? Sup? <sighs> Back at ya. <laughs> you see this, Noct? What about it? Everything in order? Yep. All right. I might have asked before, but is Ebony really all that good? I might have answered before, but yes it is.
this is the infamous disc. Hey, Noct, don't you want to get a shot of you in the meteor? Why not? Yay! Let's go! Should be a nice change of pace. A Magitech engine. It's close. Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. Uh, let me get this shot. So, what's with the sweltering heat around here? Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. The rise in temperature is likely attributable to the astral shard. We're close. Ready when you are, Ignis. Off we go. Oh yeah! Taking pics of whatever catches my eye, but what do you want to see? Why not snap a few shots of yourself for a change? <laughs> like a selfie? I guess I could do that. to another dimension. Wonder where we'll end up. Wow! Nice. This place is pretty big. I haven't enjoyed the city life in a while. They've even got a cable car! I'd like to see where it leads. Need to pull in somewhere cool. <laughs> yeah. Any chance of sleeping in a nice room tonight? Yes, I'm certain we can secure suitable accommodations nearby. The 
they've got cup noodles outside the city. All right. Might be worth investing in a few servings in the event our pantry runs bare. I'll put it on the list. One hell of a crowd. Well, this must be the main thoroughfare. She's at the Laville. Let's go. Been a lot of tremors. Hey, brother, try one of these. Uh, uh, okay. Good, right? Yeah. It's... it's good. Then come again and tell all your friends. Ravato, it's a proper mountain. One day, I'm gonna climb it. Wife got a promotion. Congrats. Yeah, I know I should be happy, but the better she does. Earthquake. Uh, what's wrong? My head just started throbbing. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh. So when the ground shakes, your brain aches? Yeah. A sort of... Seismic shock to the system. Curious. Uh, Gladdy! Iris. Look at you guys holding your own out there. <laughs> what can I say? You look good. All things considered, you guys are staying here, right? That's the plan. When you have time, we have catching up to do. Sure. Jared and Talcott, is it good to see you? Prince Noctis! Iris is safe with me! <laughs> Please excuse my grandson. He has yet to learn his manners. I like it. Your Highness is very kind, but we shan't impose. A very good night to you, Your Highness. So, Iris, what was it like inside the Crown City? Not pretty. The Citadel took a beating. But a lot of outlying neighborhoods made it through in one piece. The Empire had tactical targets in mind. You know, if there's anything else, you can ask me. Yeah, uh, uh thanks. <clears throat> uh, what? So, about Lady Lunafreya. I keep hearing she was in town. <laughs> Apparently she left right away, but at least it means she's okay. Good to hear. Thanks. Yeah, well, get a good night's rest. Morning, sleepyhead. Morning. Where is everyone? Oh. They're out walking with Talcott. They went to see the sights. We should too. Sure. Why not? Great. I'll show you around. It seems your patience was rewarding. Enjoy your walk and please take care. For our first stop, we'll check out the marketplace. Follow me, right this way. Another scorcher. <sighs> it 
It's even more beautiful out here at night. <sighs> This is the Partella Market. You can get almost anything here. Isn't it great? I'd buy out the whole place if I could. All these shops seem right up your alley. You know me so well. this neat stuff. I'm gonna take a look. Give me just a sec. Done. Next, we're gonna see the power plant. What are you gonna do when we get to Kayam? Me? Um, get ready to go to Altisha, I guess. Right. Can't keep Lady Luna waiting. That's the power plant, the driving force behind Lestalem's prosperity. But get this only women work there. As a matter of fact, women are the ones who do all the work in this town. Sounds like your kind of place. I can see you doing well here. I think so too. It's so different from home. I was surprised at first, but I like it. All right. Next, we're going to the Outlook. I'm a city girl, but... I dig the rustic charm. Huh. Love the drinks in this place. Would I? Imagine taking one for a spin. Oh, yeah. Pegler Outlook. Amazing view, right? Look! There's the meteor. You know, Noct. This almost feels like a date. If it were, your brother would kick my ass. <laughs> well, we better keep it quiet then. And besides, you already have Lady Luna Freya. The others are probably back at the hotel by now. Let's join them. Another scorcher. We ought to pack our bags for lead and cool down there. <sighs> the breeze feels so good. <sighs> Look. 
Let's see if the others are back. <laughs> Haven't had fun like this since we were kids. Thanks, Noct. No sweat. I had fun too. <laughs> you did? I'm so happy to hear that. Anyway, the thing I bought today, it's for you. But it's a surprise, so you're gonna have to wait. Hey, look who's back. Talkit, go on and tell him what you told me. You got it. Oh, come now, show some respect. Whoa, no need to respect me. I'm not royalty. So, there's this legend about a sword, and the sword's supposed to be behind a waterfall nearby. It may well be one of the lost tombs. Check it out. Sure. Thanks for the tip, Talkit. You're welcome. <sighs> Man, that hurts. Another headache. This is not normal. Folk here are real friendly. Yeah. Everybody greets you. Take some getting used to. You draw more attention here than you do at home. Should be a nice change of pace.
On your left! Thanks. Time to show you what I can really do! If I only had a gill for every time you said that. Wow, this one's no joke. Thing I need now. Eyes peeled, mouth closed. Oh, hell yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> The legend says to look behind the waterfall. What does the waterfall say? I think it says, come in. Wouldn't you know it, an entrance. Looks like the legend checks out. <laughs> this place gives me goosebumps. Double back for our coats? What's the point? Little Jill won't kill you. Well, looking on the bright side, maybe the cold keeps the demons at bay? Yeah, because monsters like war. Ah, sarcasm. Hmm, but what if they're frozen? Encased in ice, waiting for something warm to pass by. And then they jump out! And there's a... for nothing. I'm sure there's something if we look. Again. Really. Right. Watch your step. No more slip-ups. Like that? Oh, 
Just put it in the books. It's history now. So, the glaive is through here? Most likely. Let's see for ourselves. cold. So here we go. I'm freezing. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a hot bowl of soup. Mmm, soup. We're almost there. We gotta be, right? None the worse for wear. Bring on the next one. Something burning. The meteor? You saw the disk of Corthus. Listening. Prince Noctis! Welcome back. Your story came to a happy end. <laughs> well, well. We owe you, Talcott. You're welcome. Splendid. You've done well, my boy. Not unlike you and your father when you were little. Hmm. You think so? Yeah. <sighs> Not again. What's the matter? You all right? He'll be fine, don't worry. But we ought to take a closer look at this so-called disc. Then look no further than the Outlook. <laughs> <laughs> 
We can use the viewer things. No substitute for being on site, but it would be a start. Let's see what we can glean of Nox's condition. What a coincidence. I'm not so sure it is. Aren't nursery rhymes curious things? Like this one. From the deep, the Archean calls. Yet on deaf ears, the god's tongue falls. The king made to kneel in pain, he crawls. So how do we keep him on his feet? You need only heed the call. Visit the Archean and hear his plea. I can take you. We in? I don't know. We take a ride. But watch our backs. Fair enough. Let's do it. I'm not one to stand on ceremony, but such an occasion calls for an introduction. Please call me Arden. Come with me to the car park. That's where I left my automobile. She's a dear old thing. Pales next to your regalia but she's never let me down. So, we take two vehicles, a convoy of sorts, shall we? Allow me to do the honor of assigning your driver. I choose you. What if I drive your car? You might find the rental fees to be more than you bargained for. <laughs> you drive your car and I drive mine. With that decided, let us be off. Just to be clear, this isn't a race, it is a chase. You're not to pass me. Lose sight of me, and you'll lose your way. And no tailgating. An accident would spoil the trip. All right, all right. Let's hit the road already. As you wish. Drive safely now. First Galden and then Lestalem. What a coincidence, huh? Way too convenient to be a coincidence. I reckon he's following us around. But to what end? That question bothers me deeply, as does his origin. It's hard for me to picture that guy in the Empire. But it's even harder to imagine him as a Lucian. I'd sooner not rely on him. But he may be our only way in to the Disk of Kothis. What's his highness's opinion of this, Arden? <sighs> Don't really have one. He's nothing more than a creepy old dude to me. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head right there. Well, that's why we came up with a plan. Gotta watch our backs the whole way. Knocked. How are the headaches? Fine for now, but they come without warning. Wouldn't want to have one behind the wheel. Stop if you need to, all right? So, any havens along the way? Oh, somebody wants to camp. Somebody else wants a proper bed. Nice firm ground's much better for your back. Can't we at least make it a caravan? I don't get why you like camping so much. Under the stars, at one with nature. What's not to like? Now in the wild, there are no rules to follow. No checkout time. I dare say you had knocked with no checkout time. I'm all for it. What say we call it a day here? What say we continue on to Carthus? The Archeum's not going anywhere. Neither are we under your stewardship. So we make camp. 
With Arden. Hell no. <sighs> Might as well get the tent up. Oh, I'm afraid I've never really been one for the outdoors. I shall foot the bill, so let us stay at the caravan over yonder. Now this feels like a road trip. Yeah, go figure. My blood is true. As my mother before me, I'll work to bring peace to one and all. I hope she's okay, wherever she's headed. Please, set your heart at rest. I shall do what I can to ease your suffering. Lady. Of life and light, deliver us from darkness blight. That is all I can do for now, but trust that relief will come in a matter of days. It's a miracle! Thank you, Lady Lunafreya. Oh, Lady Lunafreya. I left at dawn to come see you. You must be exhausted. A, a fair bit, but more grateful than anything. Let us begin at once. We should have done more, like taken her in. Damn right. She could have bunked at my place. Or mine. I'm sure the missus would understand. Don't think being married will give you an excuse not to work out. That came out of nowhere. You can't just let yourself go with the eyes of the world on you. Uh, I don't know about that. He seems to have pulled it off so far. What does that mean? All the more reason he needs to clean up his act now. Feel sorry for Lady Luna Freya if he doesn't. He's got you there, Noct. Everyone would be like, Oh, she could do so much better than him. What does the Oracle need the Prince for anyway? <sighs> Imagination run wild much? Good morning to you. <clears throat> I should warn you, we're about to pass the point of no return. I trust you're not having any second thoughts. Whoever thought of tapping into the meteor's power was a genius. Can you even go near that thing? They harvest fragments found nearby, pieces that broke off when the meteor fell. Almost fell, I should say, for the Archeon caught it. And he's still there, holding the thing up. Guess he never misses leg day. Or any day, for that matter. His unceasing toil and the Meteor's might form the tenets of worship for the locals of Disguise. Makes you wonder what it's like, down there at his feet. So you know, it's hot where we're going. Will the camera fare all right? As long as I avoid open flames, it should be okay. I think. We don't have a spare if it breaks. Leave it in the car? Oh no, I'm taking it. Not every day you get up close and personal with the Archean. I kick myself if I miss the photo op. Spoken like a true photographer. 
As they say, better to try and fail than never to try at all. Look at you. Well, they say that. Not me. Well, you just do what you gotta. Hey, Iggy. Can your glasses take the heat? Well, I don't see why they shouldn't. Even if they couldn't, he'd still be all right. Yeah, Iggy's eyes ain't that bad. Oh, really? Yeah, my vision is possible without corrective lenses. Then why not take them off sometimes? Well, uh, you don't get it, huh? Ignis likes his world to be crystal clear. Indeed, I've never been one for ambiguity. Ah, I think I'm getting the picture now. Hey, Ignis. How's it feel being away from the wheel? Positively frightening. What are you saying? That I'm no stranger to His Highness's driving habits. Appreciate the confidence. Read a book. It'll take your mind off it. I'd rather keep my eyes on the road for now, thank you. I guess nothing can take your mind off Knox driving. So, like, we're here. Better not be a setup. Have I given you reason to doubt me? You don't really inspire confidence. Yeah, not very straightforward. Hello, it's me. Be so kind as to open up. Wow, that worked. I may not look like much, but I do have some influence. Aren't you glad we came together? Your audience with divinity lies ahead. You're leaving? I drop you at the Archean's open door. And with that, bid you farewell. that one again. Whoa, a little harsh there, don't you think? Stuff about nursery rhymes. Yeah, nothing creepy about that. So we keep going this way. Then we'll find out what the Empire's up to. These ruins. Is that what I think it is? Didn't expect to find a royal tomb here. Would be a shame not to grab that power, hey, Highness? Let's grab it and go. Here we go again! This one's huge! Get away! Quickly! Knocked! I gotcha! Come on, pull yourself up! Ah! This is 
is the Archean? Seems we woke the big guy up. He's trying to tell me something. But what? Knocked! You okay? Well, thank heavens you're safe. Is there a way back up? No, but there's a path. Gonna see where it leads. You two try to get down. Very well. We'll look for a way. Be careful now. You two. What? We're going where? Don't rush off on your own, huh? Don't get left behind. Wise guy. <sighs> They're on edge. Let's not ruffle their feathers anymore. Um, try shutting your beak. Just offering sound advice. Yeah, like a parrot in my ear. I'm about to combust. Quick. Just want this to be over. Hang on. My head. Again. Of all the times. Let's hurry the hell across. Knocked. You doing all right? What now? Hey! Titan! What's the big idea? Save it. Get to solid ground first. Faster! Calm down. I'm going as fast as I can. Almost there! You want to talk? So do I. Glad the feeling's mutual. Let's move. <sighs> Sick of this endless walking. And I'm sick of your endless whining. Calm the hell down. Get off my back. Are you a man of royal blood, or aren't you? <laughs> of course I am. I couldn't forget it if I tried. What about it? I ain't saying that you've forgotten, but you gotta know something. You're not the only one who's having a tough time. We're all on edge. We Amicidia are the King's sworn shields. Guard the King with our lives. That's the way it's always been. I've embraced my duty. And I take pride in it. When you can't focus, I focus for you. It's my job, so let me do it, alright? Alright.
Sorry, but I had to get it out. Come on. <sighs> and remember, don't rush ahead on your own. Hey, Gladio. Your dad, huh? I'm grateful to him. Just doing his job. Hmm? But isn't that your phone? <sighs> Ignis. You're safe. Good. Listen, Imperial troops are here. off but it sounds like we're about to have imperial company it's about to get even hotter in here <sighs> we finally made it I know I'm here! What the hell is it you want? Quit screwing with my head! You gotta be kidding me.
Hey, we all still here? Yep, still here. Just a little bottom. Does this mean it's over? What? What is it now? What is he doing? He's winding up! For the big one! I found you boys. And what will you do with us now? Why, grant you safe passage, just as I said. Pretty generous offer for an Imperial. Come now. Is it fair to begrudge a man the circumstances of his birth? Well, no. I guess not. So, what do we do after he drops us off? Go get the car. Can't leave her unattended for long. Chancellor, if you truly wish to aid us in our efforts, then I request you release us this instant. This instant? It's a long way down. Perhaps the army could break your fall. Or perhaps you could simply sit back and enjoy the ride. You needn't worry. You're in good hands with me. Here's hoping you find that car of yours. High Commander Ravis Nox Foray issued the following statement regarding the Imperial blockades across the region. We believe the insurgents behind this citadel attack have taken refuge in disguise. The blockades shall help us root out the criminals. I realize the inconvenience imposed upon the citizenry, but we must each do our part for the good of all. The High Commander also stressed the Imperial Army would continue its recovery efforts in the Crown City. The frequent quakes which rocked the Disky and Clean regions in recent days have finally quieted. In response, the Empire provided the following comment. The cause of the tremors was the Archean who had awakened in a fit of rage. The Imperial Army took swift action and laid the unruly giant to rest, thus averting disaster. Eyewitness reports confirm Titan has disappeared from the Disk of Kothis. I still can't believe it. I mean, shouldn't the car have turned up by now? We should wait until Cindy's done asking around the local garages before we dispel. Let's not fool ourselves. The Empire has it. Then maybe we could ask Arden to help us out again, right? The Imperial Chancellor. He represents a problem, not a solution. So where does that leave us? Stranded. Awaiting word from Hammerhead. In the meantime, we'll have to hoof it. Look! It's Umbra!
Luciana. Hear me, O King of the Stone. By the Storm Sender's blessing, will the path to the stone be opened? The Oracle goes hence in her king's name. Luna, where is she now? The Eye of the Storm. <sighs> when the Covenant is forged, the Oracle and Ring shall await their king at the walls of water. Stray not from the path. <sighs> She's a messenger. A spirit. Faithful to the Oracle. Uh, for real? <laughs> We're going beyond real now, pal. Let Luna know I'm okay, and she won't have to wait much longer. We'll be together soon. The crystal was gifted to mankind, that we might know lasting prosperity. If the crystal belongs to everyone, how come only Lucis gets to use it? The kings of Lucis do not simply use the crystal. They also protect it. Wait. So my dad's guarding it? Yes. I had no idea. To crown the King of Light is the calling of the crystal. And keeping the crystal safe until that day falls to the line of Lucis. And I'm the chosen? Yes, only the true king, anointed by the crystal, can purge our star of its scourge. You... Really think I can do that? As Oracle, I will see to it. Hmm? To aid the king is the Oracle's calling. Then... I guess I can do it. I won't let you down. I know you won't. Unto the king alone this voice is heard. To follow the words is to follow the chosen path. Bridging heaven and earth it strikes, the storm's ephemeral yet eternal light. To the light must go the king. Lady Lunafreya has done well to keep the ring from falling into enemy hands. All we need to do is hit Altitia. That entails passage aboard a ship. Chaim may serve us now as it did them then. The hidden harbor. <laughs> Just my work. I'll have Ira set it up. So, in the meantime, we head into the storm. Another day, another deity. Huh. Let's go. See you, Slowpoke! Ready for more? You bet. Let's hit it. First Titan, now Rama. Chasing down deities is hard work. Think how Lady Luna Freya must feel. If the strain of the rites is as Gentiana suggested, I fear she's far less off. Imperials above us! Thanks.
lady's helping you out anyway. Gentiana? Yeah. Is she like your fairy godmother or something? I think she's more a messenger of the gods. Whoa. I need now. Eyes peeled, mouth closed. So is Gentiana, you know, human? Not quite. While not exactly gods, messengers are divine entities. Just like the Oracle speaks to the gods for the people, the messengers speak to the people for the gods. So she's Lady Lunafreya's partner in Divine. Is recovering well? Who? Gentiana, my messenger. The prince has read of our kind? Oh, I tried to, but I only know what Luna told me. Hmm. Lady Luna Freya. Yeah, Luna f for Luna. It is heartening to see the future king and the Oracle enjoy such familiarity. The fate of our world may depend on it. I remember back in Tenebrae with Gentiana. The revelation of the Storm Sender awaits the King. Hurry hence to the eye of the storm. Foreign hordes fear the true King's ascension. The fearful seek to seal the path of what must come. What is it? A another headache? I heard her. Gentiana. Divine voices in your head again? Hopefully it won't amount to the same headache it did with the Archeon. Easy now. The Oracle's call awakens the gods. That their blessings bind the king. You all right? What did she say? Ah, uh, that Lunas awakening the six. Receive the blessing. That divine power is just waiting for you. Ah, uh, oh, thanks, buddy. Hmm. Within the heart of rock lies the runestone, the portal to power. No other can be allowed to find it. <sighs> the last one's in the cave. Let's hurry up and get this over with. 
Finally, time to meet with the storm sender. You'd better look your best. Let's go. This will be quick. Never fear. Fuck yeah. fear. Never miss. You're on fire today. No big deal. Yeah. None the worse for that. We must be as well. Look, over there. I bet that's the spot lightning struck. And we're supposed to go inside? Here we are. Fosha Hollow. No telling what waits inside. Stay sharp. Always. Uh, we're drifting into the deep end. I can't quite make out how deep it runs. Only one way to find out, right? Ah! I've got a bad feeling about this place. As if danger lurks round every corner. Avoid all corners. Got it. They knocked. Check this out. Slip through. Let's see. <sighs> Tight squeeze. Huh. Maybe for you. Pretty easy for me, though.
It never ends. Onward. <laughs> yep. I need now. I feel the damage. Over here! Pronto! Are you okay? No, I'm not okay! This place is literally the worst! And why did it have to be a snake? That thing dragged me all the way over here! Then we keep sending them back. Oh, come hey. on! Hey, you all right? Over here. You like that? Sir! Not good, not good. Everything okay? Come on, stay with me. That's it. I quit. Don't just stand there. All not good to throw daggers in the back. Uh, the rest of things up in here. Get back! Uh, see ya! Uh, Mr. Nice Guy! Uh, I'll see ya! What can I say? 
Finally starting to get the hang of this. Loosening worse. Uh, do you mean it? I mean, really. Do you? My sense we're on the right track. Uh, she's here. I just know it. Show yourself already! Cool it. She is! That's her! Do something, not! Don't ask me, do it yourself. like her. I ain't going near it. Oh. Do you guys see anything? Nothing that's gonna snatch you up. That's the last runestone. Oh, finally. All right, you're up, Noct. Is it? The power of the storm. Eh, I expected more fire and brimstone. Some gods are friendlier than others, I guess. But not all of them. Poor Luna. Perhaps you'd better console her in person. Just a boat right away. Lose that scowl along the way. Well, deal. Hey, it stopped raining. Guess Rama finally got sick of showers. Up there! It's huge! Uh, way bigger than the last one we saw! Yeah? Hey, Highness. About your car. Yeah? Well, I found her, but she's at a base. Oh. Now, I can handle garage folk, no problem. But sweet talk in the Empire? That'll take some doing. Don't worry about it. Yeah? We'll figure it out. You sure about that? Yeah, thanks for the heads up. Later. Who was that? Cindy. What? You can't talk to her like that. Yeah, I can. I just did. And does she have any choice words for you? Yeah, the Regalia's at an Imperial base. Oh boy. Guess that just leaves one question. 
When do we retrieve her? I'd say now. This is nothing more than conjecture, but I suspect that ship was due to arrive far earlier. The thunder and lightning must have slowed it down. There's a chance they intend to transport the regalia back to Niflheim. We ought to thank the Thunder God for buying us some time. But that time is running out. Yeah, let's run in and ride off. So knocked. Right now you're still gathering your powers, but what do you do once you've found them all? The calling is only a set of guiding principles. Well, hopefully it'll guide him into taking down the Empire once and for all. Yeah, like the sound of that. Your ancestors have our backs, and the gods are on our side. How cool is that? Very, when you put it that way. Empire will get what's coming to him. Certainly doesn't seem as unlikely as it once did. Like that. One more item to cross off the bucket list. Well beyond them. He's awfully friendly for an enemy leader. Knocked! Overhead! What is the king's calling, exactly? Well, become best buds with the gods, maybe? Legend has it the king once stood alongside the Six in the battle to banish the darkness. Darkness seems awfully vague. to help us these past couple days. I'm sure she's had better things to do. Well, for a lost cause. Now I feel bad for turning down the courtesy car. The courtesy car is no regalia. Hmm. Would have felt like cheating. Besides, Cindy's a big girl. So, you think she'll call again soon? Soon, huh? Not soon enough for you, lover boy. 
still can't get through. Perhaps she's unable to answer, but I told her to be ready and pick up when I call. Let's hope she's all right. fortress. Those walls don't look so portable, though. They are remnants of the old wall, and the Imperial Army has availed itself of the added protection. Entry will not be easy. Thanks for the ride. Nice riding with you. Sleeping out under the stars tonight. So, any bright ideas, Ignis? A dark one, as it were. A frontal assault would leave us exposed. But if we move under cover of night, we might be able to infiltrate the base unnoticed. And until then? We learn all we can about the base's design and attempt to narrow down the Regalia's location. I'll analyze what intelligence we have available to find us a way in. Sounds good, Specs. All right, we're gonna get our wheels back. Our goal is the Regalia. The last thing we want is to engage an entire garrison. Avoid detection at all costs. In and out before it gets light, then. Indeed. Even if it means leaving the task unfinished, we withdraw before we overstay our welcome. Together on my signal. Until then, hold position. Three, two, one. Done. Oh yeah, like a boss. Stop. What? Searchlights. We're clear. Tread warily. All right. <laughs> hey. Take cover. Magitek armor. Don't want to mess with one of those. We shouldn't have to, if we keep to the shadows. Right.
target the blind spot. One hit, one kill. What's powering the base? A Magitek generator of some description. It would explain why the troopers in the vicinity are uncommonly strong. I say we wreck it. Spare us the sneaking around. The risk is too great. Finding the regalia comes first. Not a sound. You'll alert the anime. Got it. There's the old girl. She's a real sight for sore eyes. And none the worse for her time in Imperial hands. What have we here? Change of plans. Our new objective is to clear a path for the Regalia. Base is 
the light of the sex. Dude, that was hardcore! And it did the trick. The place is dead. Rest in pieces. Come on, let's grab the regalia and split. Piece of cake, huh? Hmm. This part is. Inadvertent though it was, we dealt the Empire a crushing blow today. The Marshal will be pleased to hear of this. Pretty sweet busting up that base. <gasps> bust a base. I like the sound of that for this sort of thing. Uh, there's a base, we go in and bust it up. Bust a base. Whatever, I'm calling it that. You don't have to. I won't. Seems a bit flippant. Why not go for something a little more epic? Because I thought of it first. So that's the name. Bust a base. Get used to it. Easier said than done. Ah, oh, guys? Long has it been, Noctis. Bravis. You received the storm's blessing, and yet you know nothing of the consequences. Watch it. Be still, all of you. Not good. Heir to a crown befitting no other. Witness his splendor and glory. All hail the Chosen King. Awful high and mighty for an Imperial rat, serving the enemy to hunt down Luna. I do not serve. I command! The King's sworn shield. You better believe it. A weak shield protects naught. Hey! Wanna go? Let's do it. Should the chosen fall, that too is fate. I'd say that's far enough. A hand, Highness. Not from you. Oh, but I'm here to help. And how is that? By taking the army away. You expect us to believe that? When next we meet, it'll be across the seas. Just so happens, we have business of our own with the tutelary deity, don't we? Fare thee well, your majesty. And safe travels. You guys know that guy? Ravis Nox Fleuret, first son of Tenebrae, and elder brother to Lady Luna Freyo. Last, the Imperial blockades of Disgaean roadways have been removed. The Imperial Army has also demolished all related facilities erected around the region. The Provisional Government of Insomnia anticipates increased traffic congestion along most local highways and encourages all citizens to refrain from any unnecessary travel for the time being. So help me figure this out. That was Luna's brother? The High Commander himself. Wartime makes for quick promotions. Even a son of Tenebrae can rise to the top. But why would he want to lead their army? Who cares? Certainly formidable enough on his own. Ugh. If Ravis wants power, I'll give him a taste. Oh, Gladdy. What's wrong? I let you down. I never made it to Kayem. The Empire came while you were gone. None of us said a word about Noct. 
They just showed up and then... <sighs> Poor Jared. What do you mean? What happened to Jared? There was nothing we could do! Empire get away with it. They'll pay for what they've done. I promise. I believe in you, Prince Noctis. <laughs> I'm taking Talcott, and we're going to Kayim. We. We can't just stay here and do nothing. <laughs> I understand. I can't let her go it alone, after everything that went down. It'll be a squeeze in the car, but just for a while. Shall we then? Yeah, I don't want to keep Sid and Cindy waiting. They're fixing up the boat as we speak. We ought to thank them. Actually, Jared's the one we ought to thank. Yeah. He really thought of everything. Filled her up for ya. Thanks. Ready to roll? Let's get this show on the road. Morning! Who's ready to kick some ass? Looking at the regalia really reminds me of home. It sure doesn't look like any of the cars you see around here. And it's a lot roomier, too. I can't imagine trying to cram five people, including Gladi, into one of those things. Have you ever ridden in one? Can't say we have. There was barely enough room for our luggage. Thank goodness you guys could give me a lift. Think the others made it to Kayam all right? I suppose we'll find out when we get there. See that? 
That's the Rock of Ravito. I'm like 90% sure. Not 100. You almost know your stuff. All thanks to Jared. Thank you for driving, Ignis. Pleasure. Are you the only one that drives? I can drive. And so can I. It's not like Iggy's the only one who can drive. He's just the only one we can trust. Wow, are they that bad? Not bad at all. Right? Right. But there's no way the big guy's taking any chances with his little sister in the car. sandwiched in back there. Have Prompto suffer instead. Really, it's fine. No suffering here. If you say so. Some bad news, guys! Oh, great. Another floating fortress. Let's pull it up. Uh, knocked. Relax. We've got this. Taking matters into hand? Delivering justice for Jared. And for Talca, too. Iris, I'll need you to wait here. All right. Huh. Careful, knocked. Only fools rush in. I suggest we review our intelligence and devise a plan. Seeing this far out. Leave no plot of land unconquered. Those aren't conquering numbers. Likely building a supply line it would behoove us to cut. Yeah! That must feel good. <laughs> Knocked! You gotta try this! Oh, it looks the same as before. Looks can be deceiving. We beat them once. They won't make it easy this time. And neither will we. Imperials above us! Thanks. You think Eris is doing all right? She is all alone. Hmm. She's a big girl. She'll be fine. Iris isn't exactly a bring him on backstreet brawler, is she? Well, she's tough, mm. but I'd feel better if we got this over with and got back on the road. Mm. Ah! So, 
what's our plan? Find the base commander and take him into custody. Targeting metal men will yield little in the way of reconnaissance, but bones bend easily. We'll split into two groups of two. Prompto and Gladio will generate a diversion. Oh yeah, making a scene's what I do best. Knocked. Are you prepared? Operation to catch a commander is go. The insolence of that up-jumped mercenary. And there is still no word. This cannot be borne. Such behavior besmirches his Radiance's good name. That's our target. Let's follow him. Seize him on my signal. Stay hidden till then. What is that Chancellor playing at? I'm no man's fool. He sent Highwind to watch me. It's no mere coincidence she and I meet wherever I go. Claims to trust her as a person. <sighs> Hollow words from the mind behind the magitech. I may have acted in haste with that impudent steward back in Lestalem, but my mission remains clear. And I'll be damned if that mercenary gets her grubby hands on the prince before Caligo Aldor. I'll give Highwind one last chance to respond. Stand guard here. If the Commodore arrives, send her through. Now's your chance, Noct. Close in from behind. And remember, we need him alive. Don't worry. Oh. Yeah, you 
you're in fine form. Keep it up. Looks like they've set to work. I'll escort him off the base. We will group with the others. Guess it's time to let loose. Glad to see you lot were successful. Does that mean you weren't? I placed our captive into the hunter's custody, but I've just been informed. He's fled. He lives to die another day, and I'll gladly help him with that. time. Sorry, but this girl doesn't work after hours. I could, but there wouldn't be a single gill in it for me. Hmm. We should play again sometime, pretty boy. <sighs> Who the hell was she? I'm still worried about Iris. I imagine she's fine. But we shouldn't keep her waiting. You're back. Did you kick their asses? Oh yeah, all in a day's work. Hey, mind if I hang in your guys' room for a bit? Let's hit it. Sure. And away we go. I could have gone another round. Given her prowess, you should be glad you didn't. Yeah. 
The Loki guy was nothing compared to her. Though we may not have fared so well without the Marshal. Think things would have gone differently if he were here now? When she offered to play again, maybe we'll get the chance to find out. Is it me or is this place begging to be explored? Never been one to turn down an invitation. If what they say about the Malmalum thicket is true... Then we might just find what we're looking for here. I don't like the woods. Too many monsters. Are you kidding? What could be better than roughing it out here? <laughs> A million other things could be better. We made it. While you guys were gone, I saw a chocobo run past, and it had a person on its back. Have you guys ever ridden one before? I bet it'd be super fun. <laughs> Funny you should ask. Knocked. Call a bird for the lady. Okay, huh? these birds are freaking adorable. Are you up for it? I'm down. Step lightly in here. There's no telling what'll crawl out of the woodwork. <laughs> the hunt is on. Well, here we are. <laughs> the game is up. Woohoo! Victory! A oh, victory indeed, when we're all... Wouldn't want to squish some slimy bug and ruin my nice case. Find anything rare or exotic yet? Slow down. We just got here. You know, if rare treasures were easy to find, they would be rare. Ah! We'll ah! see about that. Watch out! Get lost! Ah! 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 Careful! Rook, I hear babbling? A regular river, I'd say. Oh. Do we have time to well, cast a yeah. Sorry, no. buddy. Oh, mercy. You in this time around. <laughs> you come a long way, Prompto. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Beat. Time for some well-earned R and R. Hey, I know those 
rooms? It's a side. You should set up camp. Yeah. You're a fortune teller now? We can rest up or move up. It's your choice, Snowed. Take care, the current doesn't carry you away. I'm not sure my footwear is up to this. Don't let yourself get pulled in. Do your best, guys. Our best would be overkill here. Don't see who would make you happy, especially something this big. What it's gained in size would have lost in flavor. That's what you're hung up about. Any less from you. Good. Woohoo! Victory! A victory indeed when we're all safe. Cold, cold. Freezing cold! You just keeps going on from here. Then we keep going too. This place is... cozy? Well, I wouldn't get too comfy if I were you. Right. We're not out of the woods yet. Oh, man, am I glad to be out of there. Don't speak. Ugh, not so glad anymore! Not surprised either. It's what we came for. Let's have it! Score! It's all about that treasure. Feels good to get it done. Yeah, almost makes up for the soaked socks and bug bites.
If the ferry at Galden were running, we'd probably be in Altitia by now. The port's still closed? Safe to assume until we hear news to the contrary. Morning! Who's ready to kick some ass? And away we go. You guys excited to visit Altisha or what? I guess. I'm so jealous. We're not going on vacation. Oh, yeah. You're right. There is? Something wrong? What? No, I'm fine. I I'm not jealous. I just had a lot of fun hanging out with you guys. But that'll all be in the past once we hit Kayim. What are you talking about? We can hang out anytime, right? Yeah. Let's pull over for a sec. How come? Well, I gotta give the driver a break every now and then. If you say so. Wonder why no one ever thought of that before. Because no one ever had a little sister along for the ride. <clears throat> that was a tight squeeze. Sorry for cramping your style. Calm down. I'm just kidding. Not my fault you're too big for the back seat. Sounds like Lady Lunafreya is staying in Altitia. Is it safe for her there? I mean, Accordo is Imperial territory. Heard about the Imperial base? Yeah, some Lucians went in and raised hell. All right, put the base commander in the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> Smells like there's salt in the air. Sea breeze. We're on the water. Wow. It's beautiful. Picture perfect. to this beautiful view. Yeah, like something out of a dream. Just don't fall asleep on me. Wow, look at that bridge up ahead. <laughs> Some piece of work right there. The rivers run wide out here, so the bridges run long. Guess I'll see it when we cross. Want to get a closer look? At what? We made it. and roll.
Heads up! This one's just for you! Our best would be overkill here. Nice work, everyone. Let's go! Yep. I never heard of Kayan before. Is it famous? Not among the masses, but its harbor was home to His Majesty's ship. Bet everything's just the way he left it 30 years ago. So, we found a harbor. Do we have a ship? Maybe. If not, we'll find one of those too. Uh, how? Up. Yeah, storm's gonna ruin my hair. I'm not sure whether it's a storm front or just the terrain. Yeah, just worry about your stuff blowing away. Hey, what's the matter, Iris? Nothing. I'm having the time of my life out here on the road with you guys. Well, there you go. It's too bad things can't stay this way forever, you know? But hey, enjoy it while it lasts, right? Let's hit it! Sure! So, you're the one doing all the cooking. More or less. Gladi, don't you help? Uh, on occasion. What occasion? I do my part. I always set the table. That's some arrangement you guys have here. This the place? Sure is. Thanks for the lift, Ignis. My pleasure. <sighs> Can't wait to see my buddy talking. We need to replenish our supply of curatives. Gotcha. of lighthouse. What say we head on up? Ought to be a nice view, if a bit blustery. <laughs> What's up? Knew it was y'all. Recognize the purr of that engine anywhere. Whew. You know your stuff. Thanks for the ride. It was fun. How's the boat? Papa's tinkering away. Reckon he'll be tinkering for some time. Trouble at sea. Seen her share by the looks of her. Some parts we can fix, others need replacing. An overhaul. Don't y'all worry. Papa ain't going nowhere till the job's done. Parts won't fetch themselves, though. Was kind of hoping y'all wouldn't mind helping out with that. We're at your disposal. To tell the truth, we already got a couple hands on deck. Dustin and Monica. Those two have been real swell. Managed to gather just about everything we need. You can depend on the Crown's Guard. Trouble is, they ain't had much luck finding a certain something by the name of Mithril. Apparently the stuff's hard to come by around these parts. At least according to the little fella from the city. Talca? You betcha. Sharp as a tack, that one. Could tell y'all more about the stuff than I could. We'll be sure to ask. Papa's down on the dock. Now, if y'all excuse me, I'm gonna grab my tools and ski-daddle. Got a garage to look after. Prince Noctis! Hey! Our house is over here! Right this way! I 
think Miss Cindy might have told you already, but she needs a very special kind of ore called Mithril to fix the boat. Remember the waterfall? I read in Grandpa's notebook, there's some ruins near a lake just north of there. It said you'll find Mithril inside. About that lake, pretty sure he was talking about the Vesper Pool. I asked Monica to look into it, and she told me the road leading there's under Imperial Lockdown. You'll want to be prepared for anything. So, how's that coming along? Yeah, just give us a second. Uh, okay. I'll be inside then. So, yeah, gonna have to ask you to handle this boat business without me. Say what? I got some business of my own to deal with. Gonna be long? Not long enough for you to miss me. The waterfall cave was right around here. That means the lake should be somewhere north of here. Be wary though. Where we go, the Empire seems to follow. Wait. What happened to under Imperial Lockdown? They all but turned the key and left the gates open for us, as if awaiting our arrival. And if anyone's waiting for us? I bet it's that guy. Complain, as long as he lets us in. Who's to say he'll let us out? Not to mention we're a man down. Would that the Marshal were with us. Oh yeah. Whatever happened to that guy? As I understand it, he's put his tomb raiding on hold to help the hunters take care of some troublesome beasts. No rest for the immortal. No way through. We must be doubly cautious. Right, no gladio, no room for error. None the worse for that. Really? Again? That's for the wicked. That's that. Oh, 
will be quick. You said it. Rush him! Count on it! You like that? Solid! Say your prayers! Oh yeah! Imperials above us! Thanks. Last thing I need now. Eyes peeled, mouth closed. Watch yourselves, no. I know. Farewell. Say your prayers. You got this? Really Locked rules! No big deal. We're out of here. Mm hmm. Everybody out. <sighs> Great day for a walk, huh? Let's go. Think Gladio will be back anytime soon? It would help if we knew what he was up to. I wonder what Gladio's up to right now. Meeting girls, probably. Son of a bitch! <clears throat> we'll meet again. Gentlemen, what a pleasant surprise. Ugh, told you he'd be waiting. With my Imperial friends, no less. Splendid. But fear not. I'll put in a good word. Well, come along then. 
don't stray too far, lest you get left behind. And surely, you'd rather avoid unnecessary scuffles, seeing as you're now a trio. Oh dear, touchy subject. One we won't discuss with you. Then let's discuss why you're here. Hmm, it can't be archaeology. Mithril, perhaps? This guy's reading our thoughts. Mithril. It's a precious resource, you see. We can't just let anyone get their hands on it. But you'll help us get ours on it, right? <gasps> I never said that. Of course you didn't. Where is the fun in that? I thought you'd rather dig it up yourselves. Fear not. I'll be but a moment. A moment doing what? Beats me. Hmm. All clear. Go ahead. So, you're the new recruits they sent over for special training. Nice cover, runaway prince. Thanks! Oh, come on! <sighs> At ease, recruits. There's nothing in it for this ex-mercenary to turn you in. Let's get this show on the road. Show? Forgot about your training? Well, I'm being paid to escort you. Just watch yourselves in there. I trust you'll be civil. Commodore Aranea Highwind, I leave them to you. Search until sundown won't do you any good. If you're looking to get inside, you're gonna have to wait. It's open. As good as an invite. Then let's take it. Let's do it. <sighs> Aren't we eager? Those guys your friends or something? You appeared to be on good terms. Who? Biggs and Wedge? They're more subordinates than they are friends, but I trust them all the same. Ah, <sighs> man. How far does this go? Yet a ways still. Oh, ah, finally. I thought it'd never end. The people here, they must have been fit. Uh-huh. Uh, who left the lights on? Maybe the owners are still home. No. I doubt we can expect a warm welcome. Indeed. Stay sharp. You think it's an ambush? Perhaps. <laughs> yeah! Anybody know if there's a bathroom around here? Prayers. Damn, you're badass, RNA. Oh, thanks. Well, this place has seen better days. So basically, you could fall on our heads.
beautiful beyond words. <gasps> Look up! Wait, what? Does this mean we're underwater? Whoa, there's even fish. The hell is this place? Huh. Can we truly be submerged? Uh, it does seem harder to breathe. Like seeing a dream. Gladio is seriously missing out. Probably not his thing. No, no, you can never tell. Above us! Ah, a way through. Huh. Something bothers me about this spot. What is it? Have we been this way? Something overlooked? Not a hundred percent sure. Just... It'll hold you. Famous last words. <sighs> Demons. Till death do us part. Practicing your vows? <laughs> the army swore their oaths a long time ago. What does the Empire seek here? Specimens. And we're stuck harvesting them. Specimens? Demons. So what's all this about the army and demons? <laughs> what do you think it is? Nice. I love gassing games. Hey, watch it! My bad. See ya! Makes weapons. Yeah, I'm sure you've seen their show by now. Yep. Where would you guys be without me? Not too shabby. Something not quite right with the Empire lately. It's not just lately. True. Maybe it's time I left. Really? What would you do if you left the army? Whatever I want. I was a mercenary once. Maybe I'll round up my men and hunt demons for cash? Well, that's uh, a heck of a plan. Let's do this! Okay. It's time not! What can I say? You ready, Arnea? Let's do it. Nice move, oh, Mr. Nice guy! Ignis! Don't be late. Immaculate. We're on the same page. Not another one out! <laughs> How's everyone? Yes. Good. How about you? Just chipper. What about the Empire strikes you as not quite right? The Emperor and new High Commander, for starters. Then there's that charmer of a Chancellor. I really can't stand that guy. Is it safe? Not everything's gonna... Whoa. What? Did something collapse? Shit! Ch 
Joe. How about this? Well, here we are. Not too shabby. You smell that? Smell what? Treasure. The nose knows, dude. <laughs> now that you mention it, let's not forget our purpose here. Let's be done with this riffraff! Saw that coming! Here comes the big one! Right on cue. And it's got friends! Ignis! Fine man. Never knew what hit him. Too many stairs. I got a bad feeling about this. Stairs they go on, forever they go on, on and on and on. He's gone. Damn, you're badass, Aranea. Aw, oh, thanks. We can go across. Let's go. Right. Well then, maybe we should take this. Oh, yeah. ah! Nice 
It's a crossroads. Whichever way leads to the treasure. If only we knew that. Well, guess we bumble on. Keep the bumbling to a minimum. Time to boogie. Right. Get back! You said it. Ah, oh, and I was just getting warmed up. No muss, no fuss. Really? Again? That's wicked. Got this? In What's the idea? Apologies. Hey, Ignis! All business! Show later. Okay. Yeah. the worse for wear. There's so gonna be a big nasty here. Let's do this! Right! Sounds like someone's in a good mood. Basking in our hard-fought victory, I presume. <sighs> that concludes our business here. Say, Commodore. 
Aranea. You said the Empire uses demons to make weapons? Listen, you've seen Magitek troopers, right? MTs. They're born from demons in a lab. Born from demons? Darkness is coming. If I were you, I'd watch my princely ass. A kingly ass. Will do. Ah, fresh air. Congrats. That concludes your training. You've still got a hard path ahead. But don't let anyone tell you how to walk it. <laughs> you may have been hired under false pretenses, but your assistance was invaluable all the same. <laughs> tell me something I don't know. You can spare the pleasantries. Take care walking your path, Aranea. Oh, right. Thanks. I, I will. And I'll train you some more if our paths cross again. Oh, and before I forget, His Excellency instructed me to give you boys a ride back. If you need a lift, feel free to hop on. Well, glad that's over with. Noct, I have just received word from Cindy. And? We're to return to Lestalum. Her friend works as an engineer at the power plant. She'll take care of the mithril. Uh-huh. And that'll take care of our boat problem. Once you're rested and ready, I suggest we hasten back to Lestalum. Make sure you're prepared. Refreshing swim? Just a dip. You're headed to Lestalum, right? I'll take you there, but no further. Got it. So, ready to ship out? You bet. Let's fly. Hold on tight, boys. Uh, look at that! A red yeah. ship. Rise and shine, Prince Charming. We're here. Sounds like a spot of troubles popped up at the power plant. Hmm, wish I could help, but I'm powerless to do anything I'm not ordered to. I'll leave the keeping of the peace to you. Of course. We got this. Good luck, boys. Loving that outfit, Noct. Why don't you wear one? Well, that's the only one. And if anyone stands a fighting chance in there, it's you. Forget about fashion and go. <clears throat> Testing. Do you read me? Just wanted to thank you for offering to clear out those demons. That'll give me time to treat this mithril for you. There's a hunter who went in right ahead of you. I imagine there are too many for one to handle, but two of you should be fine. Then a little heads up. We're getting some unstable readings from the generators inside. Too much power and the whole place could blow, so be quick. Will do. So? You my backup? I thought we were partners. Anyway, place is crawling with demons. Wait a sec. You sound familiar. Save the talk. We got hunting to do. Now, if we're done with the introductions, follow me. Abort the mission and get out of there! 
I ain't one to leave unfinished business. Can't speak for him, though. Then allow me. I got this. Well, how about you, Blue Bear? Gladly. job. It didn't disappoint. When have I ever? <laughs> Keep it up. Will do. Now, let's scram. Great work in there. As promised, here's your mithril. And, uh, thank you for your hard work. Sure. Hey, big guy! So the hunter who went on ahead... The one and only. <laughs> How you been, fellas? Huh, not bad. Whoa, someone did a number on you, though. You should see the other guy. Anyway, I'm back. And better than ever. Knocked? Gladdy? I can't believe it! Hey, thanks for looking after her, Dustin. So, Gladdy, did you apologize to Knocked for storming off like that? He made it up to me in there. The power plant? Oh, so you got your hands on some mithril. In that case, I'll go deliver it to Sid. You'll probably want to freshen up first anyway. Come and meet me in Kayim when you're ready. You'll probably want to freshen up first anyway. Come and meet me in Kayim when you're ready. Huh? Not every day you see a stellar stone like that. Nice find. I gotta say, Aranea really impressed me today. With her outfit? Well, yeah, that too. It's just, I always had this impression that the Empire was filled with nothing but jerks. She certainly doesn't fit the mold. Really makes you wonder. You think she was okay with the raid on the Citadel? Ask her yourself. Let's get a shot with the lighthouse. Hair blowing in the breeze? We'll be seaside supermodels. Seaside supermodels it is then. Oh yeah! Seaside supermodels! I wonder... Is she really gonna leave the army? You seem quite smitten with her. Which one is it? One is what? Her or Cindy. RNA or Cindy? Oh, wow. Okay, uh, whew, uh, let me think about this for a sec. I've no doubt both of them can wait. Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. Ready or not?
Doctors, even the marshal came to say goodbye. I guess it's goodbye for now. Something I gotta get off my chest. <sighs> What's that? I'm sorry. Sorry I wasn't there for your father. I swore an oath to protect the king, but I wasn't strong enough to uphold it. <sighs> Ain't nothing nobody could have done to stop what happened. Yeah. I realize that. But you need to realize just what you mean to the boys by your side. I do. Even if they can't solve your problems, you can't hide what's going on from them. It hurts like hell. Remember, those ain't your bodyguards. They're your brothers. Trust in him, always. You can never have too many tools. Here, learn to wield not only weapons, but magic as well. Just remember, it's a destructive force that doesn't discriminate. I suggest putting someone in charge of it. Waiting for an invitation? Get your asses on board! Hey! Your Majesty! What's up? Please! Come back soon! We need our king! <laughs> yeah! Count on it! The wedding day arrives, but alas, without the bride. Of course, we've come for the Hydrian, and you've gone to such lengths to prepare. Merely my duty. Ah, but for an outsider to lead the Imperial Army must be a battle in and of itself. You've spoken to Lady Lunafreya. No. That obstinate secretary, standing in the way, while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. I know the price of the Covenant. You know, I've always wanted to go sailing like this. Not many opportunities living in insomnia. Out here, it's just us and the horizon. It's amazing. It's life-changing. We've quite a ways to go until we reach Altisha, so keep gushing to your heart's content. When we step off the boat, we'll be in a foreign country. The anticipation alone is a foreign sensation. Then to think this is where we were headed to begin with. We've been through a lot. And there's still more to come. So, next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? A serpent said to embody the roar and rage of the sea. We'll have to see for ourselves. 
Can't let Lady Luna Freya do all the heavy lifting. You must be so psyched to see her. Luna? Yeah. Well, we need to make sure she's all right before anything else. Indeed. Her well-being is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. You think Lady Luna Freya's in danger there? The Empire did invade Lucis for the ring. I have no faith that ruthless ambitions will stop short of harming the Oracle. Without the ring, the crystal's no more than a rock. Hmm. I suppose. Does anyone know how Lady Lunafreya came to have the ring? It seems likely His Majesty entrusted it to her safekeeping back at the Crown City. So she's held on to it this whole time, all the way to Altitia. The ring is important, and so is Leviathan. But Luna comes first. You know, I was thinking back to our encounter with Ravus. Hmm. Do you recall an apparatus in place of his arm? Yeah, I remember. Seems he lost his old one in the invasion, but in its place, he seems to have acquired new power. Power? That would help explain how a son of Tenebrae suddenly came to command Niflheim's army. Now that you mention it, his strength did seem sort of supernatural. I just chalked it up to the Oracle lineage. His ancestry may be part of it, but that alone wouldn't account for his freakish strength. I wonder what could have happened to him. There's a disturbing rumor about Lord Ravus has taken to brandishing His Majesty's sword. My dad's. Then what's the big idea behind that? That his power's the same as the power of kings? I cannot say for sure, but I have my doubts. Ravus wears the sword, yet doesn't wield it. Hm. For all his newfound powers, he's still the Chancellor's lapdog, holding on to the enemy king's sword like some badge of honor. It might help if we knew what he was after. Insane. What are the odds the Empire will crash the pool party with Leviathan? Consider it a guarantee. They felled a god to prevent Noct from receiving his blessing. They'll do so again. But we beat him to the big guy. Thanks to our friendly guide. You never know which way that one's gonna move next. The Chancellor has an agenda all his own. Sometimes it helps. Like when he called off his army and let us escape. And he was still a creep about it. Well, it feels like he's only helping us because he wants something. I just don't know what. Reckon we'll see him again? Certainly hope not. Not your type. No love lost for phonies. As Gladio said, his actions are motivated not by altruism, but by self-interest. And when he does come to our aid, I see only condescension in his eyes. Yeah, can't argue with that. Ever think you think too much? Sometimes, but it's always preferable to the alternative. So, soon you'll have your old man's ring back. Yeah, when we arrive in Altitia. Good thing. To him, it was his heritage. Is that what my dad said? Carrying a royal line ain't a task to be taken lightly. For a small thing, that ring can sure weigh heavy. After he became king, I only ever saw his face in the paper. Wait, weren't you at the coronation? No, I, I was long gone from the city. You must have been invited at least. Had a fallen out of sorts with your old man. Right at the end of the trip. You did? I was given to understand you stayed in touch. We buried the hatchet years later, but never talked face to face again. Should have paid a visit while I had the chance. Well, no use dwelling on it now. Got the regalia in the hold, but y'all gonna stay in Altitia for a good while, right? Yes, we believe so. In that case, I'll tune her up for y'all. Not that I'll have much to do, though. <laughs> well, with Cindy looking after the old girl. If you say she's good, she must be great. She was never afraid of hard work. Heaven knows she had a hard childhood. A hard childhood? He means her parents. Lost them both when she was little. It was big enough to understand, though. And to hurt. But you wouldn't guess that, seeing her now. Not at all. She's always so cheerful. Well, that ought to tell you how far she's come. Now you must have seen your fair share of Altisha by now. Yeah, only done been the once. Stayed a good while, though. What's it like? Big old city. Big. Okay. Well, 
It ain't the Crown City. Different. Got it. You'll see for yourself. Foreign lands seldom lend themselves to trite explanations. Change of scenery ought to do you good. Well, I'm all talked out. Can't be far to Altisha now, right? We'll be there in no time. Nice having the wind at our backs. Lodging's our first order of business. All work and no play? Next thing is a dull boy. Someone has to babysit you too. Well, you're welcome to sleep in the wild. Ain't no hotel, but I know a fella has a place. Hey now. Wescom ran with Reggie and me way back when. Oh! Was he the other one in that photo with the garage? Yeah. Runs himself a diner or a cafe or something. Go and see for yourselves. Sure. Does the place have a name? McGee or Magoo or uh, Mago. That's the one. Nice. You can count on Old Wes, but <laughs> he'll chew your ears off. The government issued a statement promising that the reasons behind awakening the Hydrian would be clarified in the ceremonial address. Got a signal! Delivering the address will be Lady Luna Freya, who was previously reported dead. This will mark her first public appearance since the violence that befell the signing ceremony. Lady Luna Freya's gonna give a speech? Sounds like it. Lord knows. This world could use some wisdom. Won't be much longer now, Nogged. Yeah. Does this vessel have an entry permit? Uh, entry permit? Relax. I got one. Here. That's as old as they get. Seems in order. You may pass. Prepared in advance. Could say that. Thirty-odd years ago. That's what the guy meant by old. Lucky us, huh? That could have ended badly. back on land. Yeah, barely. They call it the Walls of Water. But it ain't just the walls. It's the whole damn city. Which is why we can't traverse the town by conventional means. We'll need to rely on gondolas instead. Yay! More boats. Hey, not huh? this. Catch. Uh, oh. Key to the boat. What? Don't you want to go sailing again? Are you sure? Why not? Old girl ought to be sturdy enough. Not even an awful driver like Reggie could sink her. A king can't rule with wisdom alone. He needs perspective. So get out there and see the world, you hear? What's next? Immigration? What do you mean? There's still more? Sir, what is the purpose of your visit? Purpose, uh... T 
That's it. It's all yours. Hey, didn't we just... <sighs> well, we're here to visit uh, a joint. Maga. Mag Maga is the name, yeah. Never heard of it. Unless you're referring to the alternate entry program. In which case, you may pay the levy directly to me. This amount should suffice. Oh, what a racket. This is your trip. You cough up the cash. You want to check Wescombe's place out? Yeah, let's all go to Mago. Perhaps we'll even make it in time for tea. And we'd better start looking now. So what next? It's a photographer's dream. What a city. Let's head back to our room. Shop till you drop. I'm starved. <gasps> They're extending the exhibit for Lady Lunafreya's wedding dress. <gasps> the Vivian Westwood? But wasn't that a memorial for her passing? Well, now it's a memorial for her safe return. Let's go see it while we still can. Oh, could that be the dress we read about in the papers? Doubtless. The designer's name is the same. Want to check it out? That depends on the groom. Might still be a sore spot. What with his wedding getting called off? Who says we can't call it back on? It can still happen. True enough. Let's keep an eye out for it. Let's grab a bite. If we win at the arena, let's grab drinks to celebrate. Now I see why people flock from far and wide to the walls of water. His arm's so cool! I mean, not like I actually want one of my own or anything. No, dude. I totally feel the same way. They say that thing's got, like, superpowers. The Empire makes some sick stuff! The Vivian Westwood store should be up these stairs. It's farther than I thought. Seems everyone is making for the shop. They spared no expense on the dress. I'm glad I caught it when I did. If the prince is still alive, they should go ahead with the wedding. Yeah, they just need him to show up. Doesn't he know it's rude to keep a lady waiting? <laughs> the people have spoken. Good to know the prince isn't completely forgotten. One hell of a crowd. And that's the dress. My word. Everyone looks so happy. And it's all because of this one dress. Yeah. Real glad for you that Lady Luna Freya is safe and sound. Yeah. Well, that settles it. You gotta make it happen. Become a symbol of the peace. After we tie up all the loose ends, let's think about the ceremony. A fine idea. Yeah. I'll think about it. Now I see why people flock from far and wide to the walls of water.
Now I see why people flock from far and wide to the walls of water. Welcome to Okoro, lads. Sid mentioned you'd be dropping in. Weskamama, as you've gathered. My word, you've grown, little prince. <laughs> ah, but of course. <laughs> you were only a babe at the time. He just stood there, staring. So this is your maiden visit. Enjoying it so far? You doubtless have many questions, so ask away. This country is a part of the Empire, isn't it? Oh, you wary. I understand. But there's no need to jump at every shadow. Just be aware that the terms of our independence grant the Empire free reign to come and go as they please. We'll bear that in mind. It's admittedly a one-sided arrangement. Most everything we do requires Niflheim's permission. And they wouldn't knowingly permit the Oracle to appear before the public. How our government spun that is quite a mystery. You really think Luna will make an address? If every recent radio broadcast is to be trusted, absolutely. Where is Lady Luna Freya? In the city somewhere. But no one has caught so much as a glimpse of her. The media has been conspicuous in its silence on the matter, which speaks volumes of government intervention. That certainly explained the rumors of disgruntled Imperial officers leaving the city. Has anything changed with Leviathan? For now, it's business as usual at port. But word is the government will soon open the altar of the Tide Mother. In preparation for the right. Ah, but on the other hand, they're scrambling to stockpile emergency provisions. This begs the question. If they're anticipating that the Hydrian will wreak havoc, why would they allow the right to proceed? So you see lots of nifs around here? We do, sometimes even at my place. Theirs is a familiar presence, and the citizens don't think much of it. Though the High Commander did cause a stir when he showed up the other day. Bravus. So soon after they fell the Archean and Lucis, his arrival fuels rumors that they will next come to Altisha. The Empire's not content ruling all the land. They want the heavens as well. Well, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> My dear Camellia, it's been a while. I heard about your distinguished guests. Ah, you've an ear for gossip. We made it. Now let's hurry over to the arena. Gentlemen, I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Clostra. First Secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. You should know, we have Lady Luna Freya in our care. And the Empire demands we surrender her. What? Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence I've come to discuss terms with the King of Lucis. If you've a mind to talk, come to my estate. She can be oblique at the best of times, but I assure you, her heart is in the right place. Oh, okay. At any rate, you must be weary from your journey. Might I suggest you seek your beds for now and ponder matters anew in the morning? Yeah, I think we'll do just that. How about the cafe in the brochure? Splendid. Where are we off to?
So, what do you want to do? Fantastic! Call when you need a ride back. Huh. Have a look at this, Noct. What about it? You know, we did struggle a bit without you. Oh yeah? Couldn't get the fire going. You could've just cast a spell. Kinda overkill, don't you think? Hopeless. Next time I'll show you hacks how it's done. Gentiana. Ahead lies a future uncertain, yet sure is the astral memory, wherein the king may walk. Greetings. Let's call it a day. Soft beds, baby. Thank you for coming. No sweat. First things first. Thanks for coming to greet us in person. It's the least I could do for a king. Westcombe didn't extend me an invitation, so I decided to extend my own. Though circumstances have changed, both the King and the Oracle are finally in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your care. Doesn't that pose a risk to your nation? Is the King concerned for our relations with the Empire? But it's true. The Oracle is a risk, one we are prepared to shed with. Whether we do so depends on you. Now, let me ask some questions of my own. 
Why does the oracle seek to awaken the Hydrian? She wants to forge a covenant so I can receive Leviathan's blessing. <laughs> the answer I wanted to hear. And yet, king or not, it can't be a simple affair for you to receive a god's blessing. Let me be frank. The potential chaos worries me. You know better than most what took place in Lucis with Archean. Tell me, what happened? I met Titan, and he gave me his power. Just like the legends, though the Empire doesn't like the way the story goes. Even as we speak, they mobilize their forces. It seems there's no avoiding chaos. It will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. The gods and the Empire be damned. It would be a disaster if a battle took place in the city. Indeed, we must be prepared to evacuate our citizens. No doubt about it. We're in the midst of making plans, and it was to discuss your involvement in them that I called you here. Without further ado, let us talk terms. If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation. That's fine, but what about damage to the city? Your concern is appreciated, but I am prepared to accept some structural damage. Keeping the citizens safe is my chief concern, and therefore yours. And that is not all. Once the rite has begun, I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. Not a problem. We know how to take care of ourselves. Thank you. I'm sorry we cannot do more, but as I'm sure you are aware, few armies can stand against the might of the Imperial fleet. That is all for the terms. To review, you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? We'll help however we can. Lest you forget, this is a business deal. A flippant attitude will earn you a flippant response. A final warning, though I doubt it'll come to it. My duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning for both King and Oracle. All right. You do what you must for your people. You're just like your father. What do you mean, like my father? Sometimes I can't tell whether you're sharp or dull. Madam, it's time. Assign three of your own for the evacuation effort. Whom you choose is up to you. According to our intel, the Imperial fleet will be four warships strong. Steal yourselves for a full-scale battle. I have confidence you will do well by us, and you can expect the same in return. I can't promise something I can't help. Of course. You certainly opened up to them, though. What can I say? I have a soft spot for the young and tragic. They've lost Regis. They've lost the crystal. Was it so long ago the last oracle was taken? 
We've seen the Empire go mad these ten odd years. During the rite, we must see to it. The Empire does not harass Leviathan. Gonna be tough to pull off before the King receives her power. And with three of us on evacuation detail. Indeed. The best we can realistically do is to help the Hydrian help herself. What kind of help are you talking about? Just like Titan, the Empire will seek to immobilize Leviathan. Ah, oh, with the harpoon things? If we can dislodge them from the goddess, she will have a fighting chance. Sounds good in theory, but don't push it. It's pointless, unless you can get that blessing. Stay flexible, stay alert. All right, will do. If worse comes to worse, you can threaten to throw the trident into the sea. Then they'll listen. In the meantime, it will be well guarded. Better than the Oracle herself. Understood. I shall reclaim it at the altar. Remember, you'll be under Imperial Watch. Right. Think of it as a necessary evil in order to forge the Covenant. I am in your debt. Once it's over, you may go as you please. But you do so without our protection. So be it. You'd better get going. Your public is waiting for you. You guys too? Of course. <sighs> Talk about a crowd. Like the whole city's come to watch. Dear friends, I stand before you today with little hope the words I speak shall reach beyond these walls. For slowly but surely, the light fades from our world, and as it does, the shadows shall loom ever longer until all succumbs to the darkness. Darkness that evokes terror hatred and sorrow in the hearts of men. The ashes of Lucis. A dream of peace, twisted into a nightmare of death and destruction, claiming innumerable lives and leaving myriad souls to suffer. Luna. Yet I beg you, do not surrender to despair. Have faith. For our gods watch over us. By their blessings, by the stars that light the heavens above, our world will be delivered from the perils of the dark. 
I stand before you here in Altisha to call upon Leviathan, goddess of the seas, spirit of the deep. By the sacred rite, I will commune with the Hydrian. But first, I offer you my solemn vow. On my honor as Oracle, I will not rest until the darkness is banished from our world and the light is restored. Bless you all. Citizens. We got him covered. So, it begins. It is I, Luna Freya, blood of the Oracle. Goddess of the seas, I beseech you, enter into this covenant that the king might reclaim the stone. must know that the king of kings is to drive the darkness from our star <laughs> it is in receiving mercy that men offer praise and in shedding grace that the gods solicit worship. I vow the king 
king will prove himself worthy. You guys! We're way below. There's only room for two. Knocked! Jump! What? No time for questions! Man! Ah! Ah! Go! What was this? <laughs> New ride we borrowed from the myths! This will get us in close! Serious? Here she comes! I got this! I'll get as close as I can! Then it's up to you! Alright! Maybe long! Hey, nice job finding this baby. The moment I saw her, I knew we'd go places! Not again! Not making this easy! Not. Hold on tight! I need your power! Take you down? I will pass the ring to the rightful king. When the prophecy is fulfilled, all enthralled to darkness shall know peace.
Noctis? Uh, uh, Luna? So, you found your way here. And you found me. A chance to see you once more. <laughs> Who would have thought? Well, what do you mean? Why wouldn't you see me? Because my prayers have been answered. My calling fulfilled. But... that doesn't have to come between us. You are the one, Noctis. The stars shine for you now. That which is yours by right shall be restored to you. Do you remember the flowers of Tenebrae? It seems so long ago. You'll find they await you still, blooming from hill to vale. Will you be there? Would that I could join you. But this moment will have to be enough. It's not right. All I... All I wanted was to save you. When the world falls down around you and hope is lost. When you find yourself alone amid a lightless place. Look to the distance. Know that I am there. And that I watch over you always. Farewell. Dear Noctis. Back with us. <clears throat> I'll tell the others. Though it may take a bit. You're hurt. Ah, oh, small sacrifice in the greater battle. And Luna?
she has passed. <gasps> Umbra left that for you. So, we're gonna roll through Tenebrae. Not before visiting the royal tomb at Cartanico. Oh, uh, you're sure you're up to that? The wounds have mended. I say it's a matter of time. The hell is wrong with you? We're not stopping in Tenebrae. You need to grow up and get over it. I am over it. I'm here, aren't I? Maybe when you're not too busy moping, you can look around and give a shit about someone worse off than you. Let go of me. How's that ring fit you? You'd rather carry it around than wear it? She gave her life so you could do your duty, not so you could sit around feeling sorry for yourself. You don't think I know that? You don't! Ignis took one for you, too. And for what? Enough! Gladio. You think you're a king, but you're a coward. Shut up! Don't do this! I... <clears throat> I get it, all right? I get it! Then get a grip. Pull your head out of your ass already. <sighs> Knocked! Leave him. We'll be on foot in Gartanica. Those men in black are spooking me out. Shh, don't talk about others.
much longer. Not long, dear. Commander Foray has been deemed accountable for Altitia's tragedy and sentenced to execution. Lord Ravis Knox Foray was promoted to the Imperial Army's top post amid the turmoil of the failed peace talks. The High Commander's primary responsibility was restoring stability to Lucis, yet his campaign against the Hydrian ended in disaster, incurring monumental losses for the Empire and collateral damage to the area. Still no sign of Lady Luna Freya anywhere. It's not looking good. What I wouldn't give to see her again. They charge us an arm and a leg for this slop? That's Imperial quality for you. Should've let a chef from a Cordo handle the catering. to the dining car? So you can feast your eyes on that other girl. Give me a break. I'm just hungry is all. Anything in Cartanica worth stopping for? I doubt it, but we'll be there long enough to find out. Step closer to finding the next tomb. Yeah. Now I've just got to find out where this royal tomb is. Look no further than the Fodina Castino. There should be an elevator leading down to the quarry from the station. Roger. Good luck, and hold your nose. What? Thanks for the advice, I guess.
ready to set out. Don't worry about me. Well, we made it to the quarry. But our destination likely lies deeper inside. Feeling a little out of my element. We're a foreign species in this environment. Mind we don't end up prey. Right. Good tip. Pudding's bad. Watch your step. As best I can. Go at your own pace. We'll wait. Don't push yourself, Ignis. Watch out, Iggy. They're on top of us. Ah, thank you. Don't thank me yet. Keep an eye on Iggy. I'll keep both of them. Is it too much to ask the royal procession to stick together? Just ask him to shut his Glad that's over. I only wish I could do more. You staying alive is enough. I've got a feeling this is the switch that activates that big hunk of junk. Doesn't look like anyone's tried to use it, though. <sighs> Tomb must be down below. Whoa! Careful, Ignis. <sighs> right. Here. Huh. Wish we could write him a ticket. Nothing but a giant roadblock. Huh. Ironic for a vehicle. If we get its motor running, perhaps we can move it out of the way. 
How about we flip the switch? Hmm. Certainly wouldn't hurt to try. This looks promising. Is it operational? We'll see. Hey, what are you stopping for? I'm not. Let's see here. In case of power failure, use backup generators. There's a key in the shed. So where is this shed? Well, if we knew where it was, we wouldn't be looking. Which means it's got to be somewhere we haven't looked yet. Should hang back. Was I in the way? No, you weren't. It's just. <sighs> Don't run ahead. Don't run ahead. Exhausted. We should get moving. You okay, Agnes? I'm fine. Don't mind me. Hey, Noct! Wait up! I found it. Up there. Here. I found the key. Pretty irresponsible to leave it out in the open like that. Where is the generator? Didn't you read the sign, Iggy? Not funny. Yeah! 
Yeah, so much for sticking together. No way to work. Got a thing in the way. Take it out. Where is it? Right here. How does it look? She's wired and ready. Give it a go. And don't blow it up. Oh, thanks for the advice. Did it work? Yep. One more to go. Seriously? Since when are there two of them? Can it? Let's just get this thing moving so we can get on with our mission. Found it. Uh, is that your final answer? What? You telling me I'm wrong? Yeah. Get over it and keep looking. Might not have it for long, though. Hurry up and move the machine. Yes, sir. Try thinking of others. Did you hear that? Sounds like we're clear. Grand. Then let's move. <laughs> Hold up. You sure you're ready for this? You got what it takes? To what? To face your ancestors and convince them to lend you their strength. Got a long road ahead. Can you see this through? To the end? Can and will. Whether I like it or not, I've got a duty to fulfill. As king. <laughs> You're damn right you do. Then that means you'd better start taking this seriously. <sighs> Good to go. We did it! Together! <sighs> This cave is huge! The tomb's further in? You wanna wait here? Alone. Here. Not what I said. <laughs> oh man! Something stinks around here. Don't slip and fall and whatever that is. Royal Tomb's gotta be around here somewhere. The question is, where?
What about over there? Looks pretty to me, to me. What is this? I hate eggs. Do we really want to know what's back there? That looks like a mouth. Is that its face? What is it? Something real bad. Want some? Bust him up! Whisking them just makes a mess. Better fry them. I think we found it! Just wish they found a better place to build it. Let's haul ass. Yeah, let's. A moment. Is everything okay? It bloody well isn't. And I won't suffer this pointless bickering in silence any longer. <sighs> Let's be frank. My vision hasn't improved, and probably won't. Yet in spite of this, I would remain with you all. To the very end. <laughs> Sorry, but I object. War is a matter of life and death. But we'll be there! It's not about us looking out for him! Uh-huh. Well, then he should be free to choose. There's more to it than just what he wants. I know full well! I won't ask you to slow down. If I cannot keep up, I will bow out. <sighs> what says His Majesty? Noct, you are king 
One cannot lead by standing still. A king pushes onward, always, accepting the consequences and never looking back. Gladio, Noct will take his rightful place, but only once he's ready. Have it your way. We're still taking a big risk. We better all be ready. Time to get our journey back on track. Next stop, Tenebrae. All set for boarding? Yeah, well, let's roll. In that case, hop aboard. We'll be leaving shortly. We're here for you. Yeah, let us help you. And we're off! Are we clear? Crystal. Hey, watch your step. You're not pushing onward? Not at his expense. Fair enough. Hmm? <laughs> Feels good to ride the rails. Sure does. Eager to drive once we're in Gralia? <laughs> if they'll let me. <laughs> we're fortunate to have the regalia at all. We owe the first secretary our thanks. She'd get more thanks if she gave us a discount. Those transceivers are top-notch. I recall when the Hydrian raged. In the midst of the Empire's retreat, one conspicuous craft remained behind. The Chancellor's. <laughs> the last thing I remember seeing was his ship heading for the altar. I fell unconscious and was powerless to stop him. I'm just glad you're alive. Oh. Is someone else there? Gladio. He just came back. Where did he go, anyway? On a brief reconnaissance. Something caught my ear. Hey, Captain. Mission complete. Splendid. So what caught your ear? Rumors of longer nights. They've been growing longer day by day. There was talk of it back in Lucis, but recent days have shown an unseasonably sharp change. Huh. Should this trend continue, before long, there won't be daylight. Well, it's not out of the question. The Empire has already slain half of the Six. No wonder the whole world's in disarray. I guess. And longer nights mean more demons. Seen that with our own eyes. I happen to overhear a fellow passenger discussing this very same phenomenon. So he sent yours truly to seek him out. Nice police work. Well, don't want to keep him waiting. No, we don't. Back in a moment. Sure. There you are, buddy. Did you see this? Oh, it's unreal. Yeah. Anything like it? Doesn't make any sense.
What's going on? It's a real mystery. I'm not liking that snow cloud. Kind of gives me the chills. Like, who comes up with this stuff? I couldn't... What the hell are you doing here? What's going on? Easy there, buddy. Oh, didn't see that coming. You all right? Shut up! Be careful there! Wait, is this for real? Oh! No! Oh. Show yourself! Ah, uh, knocked. That son of a bitch! Come on, knocked. You're scaring me. Seriously, man. Cut it out. It's not safe. Plus, you're causing a scene. Quit playing around, okay? You think this is funny? Dude, are you seriously trying to kill me? Why wouldn't I? I've got you now. What are you after following me around this whole time? It's all your fault! What are you talking about? Do you really mean that, Nog? Of course I do! You can't talk your way out of this! You won't even let me! Knocked. Please, can't we talk for a sec? Never! Knocked! Are you okay? No. Where's Arden? Wait. He's here? If he is, that would explain all this weird stuff happening. I bet he's behind the train stopping. Ignis and Gladio went up to inspect the engine room. I say the two of us go check out the rear. Yeah. Head to the next car! Leave these guys to us! So much for a safe ride. More of them might be on board. Let's check the rear. We need to get the train moving again. I'm sure Ignis and Gladio will come up with something. I hope so. Let's go. How bad do you think it is? I hope nobody got hurt. Crap. The MTs can self-destruct! Can't let them inside. Well then, we take the fight to them! He's got company! Let the party begin! It's us. It's against him. What are the odds we'll win? He's back on his feet! Fun never ends. Get back! Nazi! He's ready for round two! He's back on his feet! 
Gotta stop this thing! Prompto fell off the train, I pushed him. I mean, Arden made me. I don't know where he is, but we can't leave him. Stay calm, Noct. I'm as concerned for Prompto as you are, but stopping the train would endanger everyone on board. We'd be sitting ducks for the demons. What do we do? First, we drop the passengers off at Tenebrae. We'll be arriving shortly. What about Prompto? Given the Chancellor's involvement, it's probable he's no longer where we left him. In any case, he may try to contact us. Let us wait and hope for now. Can you make your way here? Gladio's with me. Are the two of you okay at least? Yes. Okay, on my way. Huh? I'll be there as soon as I take care of these stowaways. And things just got worse.
coming from? Can't take much more of this. Well, look who's here. Haranea. Guess we've got you to thank for this mess. More to it than meets the eye. You want to know who to thank? Come with me. <laughs> Can't wait to hear this. Huh? What did you do to your eyes? No, oh, uh, just a flesh wound. Can you see? I'm afraid not. Wow, that sucks. It's a cruel world. Uh, wasn't there one more of you guys? Yeah, there was. <sighs> we. Lost track of him. Is he dead? I... I don't know. Then quit moping, keep hoping. And in the meantime, handle what's at hand. So if it's not you, we thank. Oh, thank the demons. Pawns of the Imperial Army. The army that you fight for. Fought for. My men and I are in the search and rescue business now. You mentioned being part of the relief effort. We have a favor to ask. Ask away. In light of what you've told us, we can't allow the other passengers to continue on. Sure, leave them to me. But who's gonna drive the train? Now that you mention it, yeah. You know anyone? I do. In fact, I know two. Your new engineers. Biggs and Wedge. No need to worry. They can take a licking. Only if we have to. What's all this about? Driving a train to Gralia. That all. Well, who would you have me ask? You got us there. We'll do it. Hey, 
really appreciate you going out of your way. Yeah. No sweat. Hey, thanks for the lift. We're happy to help. Can't say the climate will be as cooperative, though. You know? Right, especially the gorge. The place is freezing. Makes sense what with the ice goddess's cold corpse lying around. It's a rather long ride, so I suggest you bundle up before we ship out. By the way, I bumped into a woman from the manor. Used to serve house floor A. Must have gone off looking for you. Said she had something important to discuss. With me? Guess I ought to find her then. We'll be waiting on board. Give us a holler when you're ready to shovel. My word, is that you, Prince Noctis? I, uh, yeah. Have we... Oh, blessed be the stars. Just look at what a fine young man you've grown into. I am Maria, a retainer in service to House Florey. I doubt you'll remember me after these long years. I, um, can't say I do. Don't worry. Who I am is of little import in light of what I wish to discuss. Lady Lunafreya risked everything to spirit the Ring of the Lucii away from the Citadel. Did she deliver it to you? Yeah. Stars above! My fears have been assuaged. Lord Ravis II will be overjoyed to hear this news. Ravis II? to fail me. No, I cannot accept it. By your hand, it must be done. To deliver the ring and inspire the king is your calling. You mustn't fall. But I lack the strength to go on. Find it, Lunafreya. You have the will. Go to Noctis. Show him the truth of your heart. I understand you will go hence to the Imperial Capital. Yeah. Lord Ravis has King Regis's glaive in his safekeeping, and it was his wish to return it to you, my prince. Though I imagine it will not be easy for you to find each other. I'll get it from him somehow. I pray it shall be so.
about the crystal. Remember how I said it was locked away? Uh, yeah. They really don't allow anyone near the thing. The Emperor himself never got close to it. The lab rats had a theory that the crystal posed some kind of threat to the demons. The way they see it? That's the reason the Chancellor had the Emperor go after it in the first place. Hmm. Dunno, but that theory holds water in my book. to marry you. She looked so happy the day her dress arrived. She really loved you, Prince Noctis. I... <sighs> Thank you. At first, the father had mourned the fate of his chosen son. Yet in Tenebrae, the two found solace. It was not the Oracle who assuaged their fears. But the girl, she holds the true power. I have little to offer a king other than the voice afforded the Oracle. Nevertheless, and I'm afraid you might find this foolish. to be together with Noctis again. Even if only for a short while, it would mean the world to me. I do not seek to guide him, merely to stand beside him. She was burdening you with the wedding. That's not true, is it? No, not at all. Will we ever see the dawn again? <sighs> what has become of our world? How in the world could something like this happen? Perhaps this is the way it ends. Is the mana badly damaged? It's seen better days. So have the civilians. They've been through a lot. And the Chancellor's the one who put them through it. Put us through a hell of a lot, too. He never gets in our way. But he sure loves messing with us. Well, there's a good chance he got his hands on Prompto. Just hope he doesn't mess with him too bad. Ravis didn't have it much better than Lady Lunafreya. Pity we never got the chance to talk things out. Hopefully, His Majesty's glaive awaits us in the capital. Should be, as long as Ravis has it on his person. Just hope the Chancellor isn't awaiting us too. Still can't believe House Flore has reached the end of its family line. Ready to depart. Just swapped out the damage cards for some new ones. Give one of us a holler when you're ready to shove off, then. Dining car's open. If you need a break. Shall we shove off then? Climb aboard. Don't worry about the civilians. They're in my good hands. Can't say the same for you. Watch yourselves in the capital. We will. Thanks, Arnea. We'll see you around. It's... snowing. Get your ass on board! Yes, sir. Enjoy the ride. I'll be in touch. 
don't ship anything out now. Look at all that snow. No wonder it's so cold in here. We must be approaching the Glacian's cadaver. Won't be a blessing if all we got's a body. Let us hope we pass through the gorge without incident. It's what's after the gorge I'm worried about. Once we get through Gore of us, we're there. We've come quite a long way. wonder what it could be this time. I told you that. Yeah. What's wrong? You may have noticed we stopped. As for the cause, outside is it? We'll take a look. Oh, no. I hope it's just a quick snow shoveling job. Indeed. It's freezing. You better keep moving to stay warm. The Glacian did this. I think I can see her. It's a shame. She's lying dead. Damn, it's cold. Let's clean up out here. Warm up in there. Better make this snappy. Hey! <laughs> 
Hey, knocked! <sighs> What's up? You better get in here. Something's Got not it. right. Come on, there in a sec. Right. No way. You! Hold it! That son of a bitch. your friends. They've fallen and they can't get up. Why not lend them a hand? A coldness that can only be hers. that follow the war, while the six are still asleep. The pyre burner is sought by a man who draws him away from the light. His peril is sensed by the frost bearer. She rushes to his aid, only to be filled by the foreign hordes. Those masses are now one with the darkness. Darkness that before long will swallow the six and the star they protect. This star's fate no longer rests in the hands of the gods. It sits on the shoulders of the Chosen. Deliver this world from darkness and grant my love release. I promise I will. The Six have safeguarded this star since time immemorial. Each of a different mind, but united by this common purpose. The gods' protection extends to all creatures here below, even to the mortals created in their image. They are feeble creatures leading fragile lives and clinging to foolish fancies. The Frostbearer scorns these visions of hope, which melt like snow in the sun's light. Yet the Pyre Burner admires their strength of will. For their reverence, he grants unto them his flame, and the world of man flourishes. His benevolence warms the frozen heart of the Frost Bearer. The mortals have earned her respect, he, her love and admiration. It is not long, however, before some among those men ascend to new heights of hubris. The people of Solheim spurn the gods who bless them the gods they once worshipped. The ungrateful mortals incur the wrath of the Pyre Burner. He seeks to raise the very civilization his flames once helped build. But the Six are sworn to defend the star and all her inhabitants from harm, and, at times, from one another. The flames of war surge as Solheim fends off the Pyre Burner's fire. 
the gods please for peace fall on deaf ears and the battle rages on. When the smoke clears, the world of man is in ruins, their star left scarred for time eternal. Wearied from war, the six six solace in slumber. This tale of our shared past is entrusted to the King of Kings. That he may see it to its conclusion. The Oracle is no longer of this world, but her thoughts remain, and they must be known. When the boy begins his existence on this star, the girl is met by the High Messenger. It is ordained that she will work with him to return the light. The girl reaffirms that promise. The High Messenger is moved by the girl's determination, her heart warmed by the girl's benevolence. Her faith in mankind is restored once more. Sister, cease this madness. That boy will never be king. Noctis is chosen. It is ordained. You of all people should know. I know that you are throwing your life away. That may be. But it's my choice. If only... If only I could hear his voice once more. We could laugh together as we did as children. <laughs> if we could live out our days together as we once dreamed. Wherefore does the lady weep? Forgive me. I vowed to only cry where prying eyes cannot see the tears in mine. Yet others need not hide their grief. Is she so different from them? No. She is no different at all. She wants exactly what they do. To be with the one she loves. But want though she may, it is not to be. The lady's thoughts have been hurt. The love she bears the king shall never fade, and, in time, her feelings shall be known unto him. Gentiana. And if the words are not spoken from her lips, then the messenger shall see that they are heard. The god's favor and the lady's love shall be with him evermore. Thus it is promised between the oracle and her familiar. I am undeserving of your kindness. Thank you. And so the promise is fulfilled. As her words go with him, so shall my blessing. Yeah. Thanks. O King of Kings, restore the light unto this world. Farewell. Dear Noctis. Luna. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you. Not even when you needed me most. There was so much you wanted to say. So much I wanted to say. And now, I never have the chance.
I won't let you down. I know you won't. Saw the glacier. It's okay. She's gone now. You guys check out our drivers. Got it. You good? Yes, I'm fine. Let's go. I feel I've earned the right to call you not. For a moment I felt death's chill wind. Such is the might of the gods. But then I remembered I'm immortal. Such is my blessing and curse. Your attack hurt me nevertheless. My feelings at least. And after all the memories we've shared, Remember this. Ah, I should have asked if you remember him. Truly a blast from the past. Nay. Ah, ah, ah. You mustn't take what's not yours. Where is he? He? <laughs> the little gunman's a short shot away. Where? Where else but Gralia, the seat of the Empire? I'm sure he'll be delighted to see you. And you might even find your crystal. With all these demons about, you could certainly use it. <laughs> Off you go then. I wouldn't want to keep you from your friend. <laughs> We should be drawing close to Gralia. Yeah. I can't imagine what it'll be like. Swarming with demons, but you knew that. Huh. Don't remind me. Once we arrive, we'll make for the keep. The keep? Zagnortus, an Imperial megafortress said to be impregnable. With Prompto and the crystal inside it. What goes in must come out. So, are we buying the story that the crystal can purge demons? The proof is in the purging, but it does stand to reason. We've observed that as the nights have grown longer, the demon hordes have grown stronger. If they are in fact averse to the crystal's light, it could save not only Lucis, but the world. <laughs> we'll find out once we take it back. The hell? What is it? My guess. Something to sidetrack us. Whoa! Come on, come on, 
Let's get to work. What's wrong? The weapons. We're get stuck. Back. Run! Come on. Move it. Only a matter of time before we run out of room to run. Got a better idea? We trade the train for the regalia. Come on! On my way! Locked! The freight car! Keep moving! Drop in. Yeah. Got it. Threat upgraded. Activating level four security measures. Sealing all gates. Put the pedal to the metal. That's the idea. Don't crash. Thanks for the tip. Are we now? Inside a tunnel! On the train tracks! Don't slow down, or they'll catch us up! Going as fast as I can! Hang on! That's all she's got. It'll do. Seriously marching into the capital empty-handed. And with no assurances, the Crystal can beat back the demon hordes. Guess we'll find out the hard way. No turning back now, right? <laughs> well, this thing could come down at any time. Let's be quick. Come on, this way. Gladio! Look at you. Oh, by lonesome. You again. You know, for an Imperial Chancellor, 
You were one sick son of a bitch. Demons, the hell do you want? Leave me alone! This is getting out of hand. Looks like it's connected below. It might be my ticket to the top. Maybe another. <sighs> what am I supposed to do? Nice.
Huh. Should be safe to rest here. That's the way to the elevator taken care of. Everybody go. Find them, wherever they are. Can't you simply taste the air of foreboding? These don't look like typical MTs. Must be tiring having to run all the time. That magic is a royal disappointment. Something different about them. Something off. Huh, <sighs> takes a special key. Some 
streaker running around here? It's all coming along swimmingly, isn't it? Invalid key. Data retrieved. Security clearance level, one. Huh, and what have we here? Clearance level, nice. Security clearance raised to level 2. Access to level 2 zones authorized.
Another trick. Back to square one. Security clearance raised to level three. Access to level three. Zones authorized. That's one of my personal favorites. Oh, you should have seen the look on your face. You'd best hurry. Next time, it might really be your friend. Are you certain it wasn't the real thing? Wouldn't want to make a mistake. <laughs> Just so unfair. Desire so close now. Soon it will be within your grasp. I suggest you take the central elevator. It will take you to your goal. Aren't you helpful now? Down. Gotta find a way to make it move.
all keyed up. If a king cannot protect himself, how is he to protect others? you climb, the further you fall. Easy. Your work is done. Well, Dad, let's see what this sword can do. I'll do just fine. Yeah! Yeah! 
by the second. We need to stop it.
Security clearance raised to level four. Access to level four zones authorized. without your friends babysitting you. First keys, now power. What next? What was that noise? Is it scary being on your lonesome? Nothing.
The Empire made considerable inroads into the science of demons. Well, after I showed them the way, of course. We'd managed to make demons. Right here. Make? Your head can do more than wear a crown. Use it. you callously dub MTs all began as babes in this very facility. Imprinted with serial codes and incubated until they were strong enough to fight. What a pity. Innocent souls fated to suffer at the hands of a foreign king. Well, not so empty after all, are they?
Security clearance raised to level 5. Access to level 5 zones authorized. this place? What are they keeping inside? Not sure what that is, but I got a hunch it's bad. Don't like it one bit. Bet there's something here. Which means... It's locked. And if there's a lock, there's a key. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Things are looking up. How will this story end, I wonder? Intruder alert. Mobilizing dormant Magitek infantry. What the... Wait. Is that what's waiting inside? Oh, even more of them. Where are your friends? You don't think oh, they ran off without you? You still haven't found Gladiol? Only a matter of time before Ignis bumbles into a trap. You must feel very much alone. Security clearance raised to level 6. Access to level 6 zones authorized. Your bodies have bright lives ahead of them. Don't take it personally if they choose their own over yours. your borrowed toys, are you? without your friends babysitting you. In case there was any doubt, it's a trap. Ah! Uh -huh. 
A little pay never hurt anyone. On you go. Hurry, while you dawdle, people are dying. Ah, uh, I really got and done it now. No, ah! not you. Hurry, no. No. Claudio, where are you? Ah, uh, Nark's in trouble. Got him. There ought to be a kill switch nearby. Find it. Well, how do you know that? I believe it's the reason we were brought here. That was close. The hell did you get here? You're welcome. Thanks. After we were separated, we received help. From the usual suspect. That bastard's playing with us. But at least we're together. All but one of us. Reunited with your retainers at last. How very touching. Must be a fine feeling, having friends. Look how happy you are. I pray you find your dear Prompto soon. Locked. Meaning, there's someone inside? <laughs> go. I knew you'd go that way. Oh, you're such a tease. Hey, you all right? Are you hurt? Do you need help? I'm fine. <clears throat> Thank you, Noct. No sweat. Tell me, were you worried about me? Of course I was. What kind of question is that? <laughs> of course. That's why you came. Like I believed you would. Prompto. That's why I told myself I couldn't die. Not until I could see you, and hear you tell me I'm not a fake, and I'm the real me. I'm sorry. Don't be. Everything's all right now.
Locked. Do you hear that? Hear what? I've heard this sound before. On the train, just before your weapons failed you. It's nearby. And it may hold the key to restoring your power. It's here. This thing? Door's locked. It's coming from within. Is there no way through? There's a way. So, MTs, they've got those code prints. Just like I do. Do they? Never looked. Yeah. So, as it turns out, I'm one of them. Not exactly something I could tell people growing up in Lucis. Still, you guys are like the only friends I've ever known. I just hope that things can stay the way they were. Whatever. Who cares where you were born? I don't see you turning against us. Not now or ever. Thanks, guys. Still, I can't change where I came from. What I am. Since when does where you come from matter to you? Hmm? You never once treated me as a prince. It's <laughs> got you there. Never so much as a highness. We're done here. Come on, crown citizen. You're one of us, right? Unless you'd rather not be. Did it work? With the device down and out, Nox power should be up and running. Go on, try it. All right. Moment of truth. <laughs> We're back, baby. <sighs> Good game. What a relief. <laughs> Let's roll. Get on with it. I see you decided to rock the ring. Had to. No weapons, no friends, no choice really. You know, somebody here's got to fight to rescue the crystal. Not to mention rescue all of your asses. Spoken like a true king. About time. 
Now then, the crystal. I'm guessing the way is locked. Well, I guess it's a good thing somebody has keys to the whole fortress. You're no better than a burglar. Aren't I? Safety. Who and who? Our train drivers. And soldiers. They can fend for themselves. Hey, buddy. Could you try to stick together? Where'd you guys park the regalia? Outside. Though park ain't the right word. She's broken down, alas. Took one for us. Saved our lives.
the lands. By the crystal's light, we shall flourish. I shall arise as ruler of the world. All right, things are looking up. Let's see what we came for. One hell of a hangar. Huh. Look at all this space. So, the central elevator's through here. And out of the loading bay. Your Majesty, your precious crystal awaits you. To liven things up, I thought I'd take you on a stroll down memory lane. Of course, memories decay with time. Or what's left of him? Hey, don't you think you've heard Iggy enough already? Sorry. I'll keep both on him. That'll do. Sorry end for the High Commander. For anyone. He was a man with hopes and dreams. Ugh. It's horrible. What kind of fiend makes demons of men? <gasps> Look alive! Company! Go 
one alone. What? If you can obtain the crystal's power, you may yet be able to turn the tide. Elsewise, we are all like to perish here. Biggie's right. It's our only chance. But what about you? No man, it's somehow. Just get moving! Your dear friends are still alive. Those who died for you, do you ever wonder what went through their minds? Can you even recall their final words? I'll come back for you all. I swear. Where's this go? Crystal had better be here. Everyone's counting on it. Counting on me. Your journey is over, Noct. of which you've seen. Inusif lived a savior who could cure the afflicted. His body would come to host myriad demons. Countless lives be spared. But a jealous king, one not yet chosen by the crystal, ostracized and demonized this healer of the people, making a true monster of him. I gave you my name earlier, but you should know that it was not the name given to me at birth. Arden Lucis Kylum is my proper name. You'll never guess whose name this video was. 
and only at the cost of a life his own. The King of Kings shall be granted the power to banish the darkness, but the blood price must be paid. To cast out the usurper and usher in dawn's light will cost the life of the Chosen. Many sacrificed all for the King, so must the King sacrifice himself for all. Let the light of providence shine within.
What is it, boy? Something's coming. A truck? Ah. Uh. Yeah? It's me, uh, Talkit. My grandpa served the Amasidia family? Talcott? Yeah. No way. Yes way. Welcome back, Your Majesty. Yes, sir. That's... that's right. Huh? Oh, uh, just a second. Um, said he wants to have a word with you. He can have it in person. He said you can have it in person. Okay. Uh, we should be there shortly, sir. Wow. I can't tell you how good it is to see you again. Yeah, you sure look different, though. You think so? Guess I've grown some these ten years. Ten years? <laughs> the guys must be pinching themselves right now. Where are they, anyway? List or not, but they take a lot of trips to Hammerhead. For? Uh, for Miss Cindy. You know, back at the garage. She's a tough one, but uh, when she needs a little extra muscle out on the road, she gives him a call. Huh. Oh, uh, 
Speaking of which, the guys said they're near Hammerhead right now, so we'll be meeting them there. You know, ever since you disappeared, Your Majesty, it's been nothing but nighttime nonstop. Lestalem still has light thanks to the power plant, so just about everyone's taken refuge there. Only there? Everywhere else has been abandoned. Demons moved in, forcing the people to move out. People still swing by the garage at Hammerhead from time to time, but it usually isn't for repairs. These days it's less of a service station and more of a slayer station, a base for demon hunting. The garage is still open though, one of the few places that is. So I'm Sid. He's still alive and kicking. <laughs> He's kicking all right, just not as hard as before. He hasn't really been himself lately. At least, not since he moved out to Lestalem. Someone suggested he move the garage there too, but old man Sid wasn't having it. He called it a big fat chocobo turd of an idea. Said it just wouldn't be the same anywhere else. That sounds like Sid all right. Miss Cindy said she didn't mind either way. So the garage will probably stay put for a while. And without any tinkering to do, Ignis's gourmet seafood is about all Sid has left to look forward to. With all the demons prowling around, more folk were getting hurt. So Iris talked the marshal into taking out the demons themselves. Iris the Demon Slayer, they call her. Gladio and the others, they lend him a hand whenever they can. Prompto spends most of his time hunting around Hammerhead. He tries to impress Miss Cindy, but she's already married to her work. And Ignis? He hunts too. We tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen. He said if anything, he's more used to the darkness than we are. Never got his vision back. I'm afraid not. But that being said, he gets by pretty well on his own. Gladio and Prompto usually hunt on their own as well. It isn't often you see the three of them together nowadays. They still work as a team every once in a while, but each has his own set of tasks to keep him busy. Is that so? We've arrived, Your Majesty. Everyone will be so happy to see you. Don't worry, I won't be going anywhere. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask. all you have to say for yourself after all this time? <laughs> Knocked! It's you! It's really you! I hadn't realized. Well, well. You kept us waiting. Not like I wanted to. We've got catching up to do. Let's head inside. So, Ignis, you're really cooking like you used to. Well, more or less. I can manage with far less help than I required before. 
You know, it's okay to ask for help. You don't need to prove anything to us. Probably more about proving it to himself. Well, I say we leave him to it. Well, yeah. I guess that's how he got so good. Even better than before. If you can believe it. Uh, my taste buds sure do. Perhaps I've developed a culinary sixth sense. Hey, Iggy. You ought to follow Westcombe's example. Open up a restaurant. I'll give the matter some thought. Assuming such demand still exists in a post-apocalyptic world. Fellas, we're homeward bound at last. Time to suit up. Finally get to rock these threads. Wear them with pride. Yeah. Just hope they still fit. Sweet home. Yeah, at long last. What have we been waiting for? Sure is. Are you with me? Of course. You bet. Until the very end. It's time to finish this, once and for all. This is it. Give it your all, guys. Yeah. You got it! With pleasure. Yeah. We're See done ya. here. Don't worry, I got this. We haven't fought together like this in ages. Really takes it back, doesn't it? We may have struggled before, but now nothing can stand in our way. Hmm. I'm surprised we haven't seen any glaze around here. Why would we? Because they're doing reconnaissance, dealing with the demons as they go. Their base is up ahead. Come on. I sense trouble. Sense right. Nice, Iggy. No time for compliments. Yeah, we got work to do. Well, <laughs> uh. Yeah! 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 
guess we've still got a little fight left in us. You say that like we've already peaked. Yeah, we haven't even reached our prime. <laughs> guess you're right. You've got this. <laughs> of course. Then we should hurry. There may be survivors nearby. You are right. 
More or less. Follow me. Glad to be back. I've got something to show you. Follow me. So, what brought you back to Insomnia? We wanted to do what we could, to make sure everything was in order. <laughs> For the day the king returned to reclaim his rightful seat on the throne. We're stationed just up ahead. It's just about the only place we have left. Come on. Good news, everyone! Your king has returned! Highness! <sighs> I knew you'd come back! My liege. Your Highness, for many moons we have eagerly awaited the coming of this day. Brothers and sisters, brave warriors of Lucis, you've done well these ten years. And I thank you. You've done so much. All for my sake. <laughs> we kept the light alive in our hearts. We've all lost friends and loved ones along the way. But the one thing we never lost was hope. Brothers and sisters, I ask you to stand by me and fight at my side. For the light, and for the future of our world! Yeah! All hail the King of Light! All hail the King of Light! The Glaive's finally got its king. <laughs> They're so happy to have him back. Yes, but none are happier than us. So, how'd things work out with you-know-who? Oh, a gentleman doesn't kiss and tell. <laughs> Look at you. Just remember, hold tight to the ones you love. And don't let go. Lose your grip and you'll lose them for good. Thanks for opening up a camp. Appreciate it. Didn't want to leave anything unsaid. Whatever you do, you will have my unwavering support. I know. You get a few more scars while I was gone? <laughs> Wouldn't be much of a shield if I didn't take a few hits. <laughs> Think you can take a couple more? It's my job. I'll take as many as you need me to. Here, take this. A key? Could I? That'll let you open all the gates around here. Perfect. on the prowl.
Up. Demons. Everyone ready? Yeah, but of course. <laughs> for where. Fashionably late, I see. Arden. Insomnia, the crown city of my kingdom. I bid you a warm welcome. What the hell's he doing? I've prepared something special for you, Lord Kiss. What? It's the same wall your father gave his life to sustain. A little reminder of your daddy, dearest. Do you like it? <laughs> you sick. Oh. How could you say that to your own flesh and blood? I'll try to find it in my heart to forgive you by the time you reach the Citadel. My little pet will greet you at the gates.
move. Right. Oh, yeah. on the prowl. Time to say goodbye. Reliable as ever, battle. Onward. Right. Must be a little bad. We can only hope it's bad. It's worse than it's bad. I'm afraid we're going to be occupied. We're going to be ourselves.
Maybe the King of Kings really is as almighty as they say. <sighs> Looks like there's no way past the wall. <sighs> there's way too many of them! And no way out of this, either. Still, you can't just give up now. <sighs> Luna! Hear my plea. Lend the Chosen King your strength, that he may far from darkness reach the heavens. By the will of the Oracle and the grace of the gods, a path for the King is made. The fate of our star rests with you now, my king. Talk about divine intervention. <laughs> oh, feels good to know the gods are fighting on our side. They've entrusted the future to you, Noct. Yeah. Wouldn't want to let him down now.
Ifrit, the Infernian. He doesn't share the Glacian's fondness for mankind. But you can expect a warm welcome. I shall await you above. Stay cool. He's gonna bring the heat. Hang in there, buddy! Stay down! We'll keep him busy! Before he strikes again! Here it comes! I got your back! Here you go. Let's go! For the worms. Out of the frying pan? Dot, dot, dot! We need to put this thing out!
Some of the flames. Stay back so it doesn't kill us! Blast off! This is it! Ha! Say goodbye! soul no peace at last. King of kings, the grace of the gods is with you always. I made a promise, one that I intend to keep. That was a most impressive performance. You thought that was good? Wait till you see what we've got in store for you. I'm giddy with anticipation, but I'm afraid you've one more wall to break through first. The old wall, the kings of yore. Oh, what fun it will be to watch those I revile most tear each other apart. Come forth,
Now and always! Forgive me. My mind was not my own. You okay? <sighs> yeah. This shield's a little sturdier than it looks. We better keep moving. Come on. It's all lit up? Guess he's expecting company. He wants this as bad as we do. Think the elevator's working? Huh. Sure looks like it. He is really taking us by the hand. Eh. He'll save our legs the walk up. The throne room. Waits outside. Yeah. Then so does Arden. Acting like he owns the place. It's time to take it all back. It ends here. Tonight.
Go forth, chosen king. Restore the light. Take it easy. <laughs> what kind of friend would I be if I took it easy when you're in trouble? I'll be fine. Let's keep moving.
fulfill your calling and dispel the darkness from our world. Go forth, restore the light, and free my brother from his curse. Thanks. With you guys at my side, I know I will be ready for anything. I always hated this room as a kid. Yeah? Why's that? Coming here always made my dad all serious and sad. It no doubt reminded him of the fate his son would come to bear. So Arden is the darkness of the legends. Ironically, since he was to be the King of Light. And only I can deliver him from his own darkness. My buddy's gonna write the last chapter of the legend. So cool. I recall a young prince leaving his mark on a painting. Is it still there? I don't think anyone could spot it. Had one of my attendants cover it up pretty good. Not much farther. Well, shall we? Knocked? Yeah, but... Uh, hold on a sec. Prompto, can I see your photos? Uh... Yeah. I just need one. To take with me. Uh, oh. Yeah. I get it. Um... You can take whichever you like. I can't beat that. A shot of all four of us together. Through it all, we had each other. Then it's settled. That's the one? No backsies? Yeah. I'm afraid you're out of luck. The throne brings you here. <laughs> it seats only one. Off my chair, Jester. The king sits there. Oh, knocked. How I have waited for this. Longer than you could ever know. Tonight, the dreams of the Blood Royal come to an end. Spite's all that's kept him going. <laughs> Talk about a grudge. Arden sits the throne. <sighs> Not for long. This is my ascension. What did you do? They have no place in this. The Battle of Kings! 
Come, Noctis. It ends now. The once helpless and hapless prince. Is he now ready to claim his crown? Don't. Let us down. Let the games begin. No. Now they end. Let it be done. So you are the chosen king, but you are a second. Disappointed. Can't you do any better than that? Ten years, and nothing to show for it. Kings of yore are on hand, calling you forth to oblivion. <sighs> Yet when your father died, you were off playing with your friends. When your beloved died, you lay watching, powerless to stop it. You think ten years is a long time? It is nothing to me. I have lived in darkness for ages. See? 
Now it is over, Majesty. What will you do? Banish the demons and bring peace? Erase me from history once more. This time, you can rest in peace. Close your eyes forevermore. I will await you in the beyond. So this is farewell. Yeah. Here we are. It's all you. No turning back now. Prompto. Gladio. Bigness. I leave it to you. Walk tall, my friends. Godspeed. And take care. Majesty. Took me a while. I'm ready now. I love you all. Luna. Guys. Dad. The time we had together, I cherish. Kings of Lucis. Come to me!
The four of us around a campfire. How long's it been? Hmm. An eternity. So, yeah. I just... <sighs> Damn it. What the hell is this so hard? So I... I've made my peace. Still. Knowing this is it. And seeing you here now. It's... More than I can take. Yeah. You're damn right it is. Huh. You spit it out. That's good to hear. Well, what can I say? Do you guys are the best? Dearest Luna. You did well to, to deliver the ring to Noctis.
wayward, though my son may indeed be. He has made me proud. May you too know happiness.